the user's movement on the robotic arm as they pull away. You see it grab that ball. Okay. So what do you gotta do? Jerk off in the air and then the robot jerks you off? It's okay. funny yeah, you say that, 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 Wes. You are! The there it is. <laughs> Hell yeah, boss! <laughs> Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good morning. And welcome to episode 962 of Hard Factor. It is Friday, June 10th, 2022. Thank you for cheating on the news with us today. We've got more dirty dogs and other great news in the coffee. That's so right. Well, Absolutely. Nice. Aussies and Florida men gone wild after the dirty dogs. So just more dirty dogs. Yeah. Really. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's a great theme. I I, I loved it for yesterday when Will did it, and it's just it's it fantastic. Is. I like. Hey, we, we cover a lot of dirty dogs. dogs. Yeah, right. yeah. It may never you know stop. Be great. Dirty dog train. No, <laughs> you know. Did you guys ever see? Um, you guys familiar with uh, Asylum films? They would do like the um, like when yes. Transformers came out. They did Transmorphers. Right, like they'd always do like the B movie version or whatever. Yeah, like B horrors and stuff, mm. stuff too. Yeah. What about a, a Bad Boys B movie called Dirty Dogs? It's like Bad yes. Boys. Mm -hmm. uh, we could like, like Bad Boys. Cut, cut like rate Martin dogs? Lawrence. Cut rate Will Smith. Yeah, just being yeah. dirty dogs. Or maybe the cops are like dirty too. Mm -hmm. We it's could like, get Martin Lawrence. Yeah. He's cut rate right now. Anyway, mm -hmm. you could he also spin do. it off. Martin Lawrence is <laughs> cut rate. Martin, Martin Lawrence. <laughs> he sucked in the latest Bad Boys. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of money there. Uh, after that, more dirty dogs, actually, sex robots, of course. Yeah, well, it could be clean, but <laughs> they're probably no. going to get dirty. <laughs> I mean, the sex robots aren't the again. dirty dogs. The people mm -mm. fucking the sex robots, there dirty dogs, 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and the debut of Hive 5, which nice. is the exact same thing as the Hive Jive, just new name. Uh, that's going to wrap <laughs> things up this week. Congrats on making it to another Friday, gents. Mm -hmm. Right back at you, Will. Barely made and it. everybody's listening. Everybody in the heart of hive, you made it. You guys did it. Yeah. So um, another week in the books. Why don't you tell the radio or your cell phone um, what you're doing this weekend? Oh, really? That's awesome. It's your day. Sick. It's gonna be awesome. Tonight is your night, bro. That mm -hmm. sounds really fun. But that felt good. What? Okay, sir. <laughs> you guys see me they were on a roll all out of my chair there T tune, into, <laughs> tune into youtube if you want a special treat at the very beginning you almost fell your chair? oh yeah what a treat you did oh yeah you were just like it, using, I, I busted you're using, it. you're using core strength to stay up it, i busted it because it was in lock and i unlocked yeah. it with my weight and almost fell oh, out of it man yeah. <sighs> we'll treat there for the youtube viewers yeah that's always scary when you uh when i mean when you're heavy enough you can break the you can break the the, the governor on any mm -hmm. chain. Yeah, yeah. At, any, at any moment you the can. The feeling you can of falling it. unexpectedly is certainly scary. Yeah, yeah. we we gotta do we gotta do one of those ads, man. Like one of those internet ads. Like find out why chairs hate them. Yeah, <laughs> hard physical factor. therapists hate them. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got a little good news uh, in the in the high five later uh, from someone who DM'd me about the weight loss pill that I Ooh, covered earlier nice. this week. Well, let's so, get to yeah. it because we have a ton of stuff. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Here we go. Yeah, cup of coffee in the big time. Cup of coffee in the big time. Fun fact, uh, mm. guys, did you know that the queen's power doesn't stop at the in insane amount of land she owns? In fact, thanks to a rule that dates back to the 1300s, the queen technically owns all the sturgeons, whales, and dolphins in the waters around the UK. Uh, yeah yeah this is from time quote the statute is still valid today and sturgeons porpoises whales and dolphins which we all know are whale uh, tooth whales are recognized mm -hmm. as fishes royale when they are captured within three miles of the uk shores or wash ashore they they may be claimed on behalf of the crown generally when brought into the port a sturgeon is sold in the usual way and the purchaser as a gesture of loyalty requests the honor of its being accepted by elizabeth so Oh wow! She owns all the all the, the dolphins and the whales. She getting paid on that? I'm sure she is, Pat. Oh yeah, F fishes royale. Yeah, that's yeah. expensive. Conversely, <laughs> it's on her 
if any whales get murked in her waters you know what i mean like that's or a humans huge responsibility yeah exactly right. it's a liability it's really interesting what's the insurance on the ocean like you know yeah, yeah. um i mean the crown joke. can afford it yeah so. Oh, she's, right. she's filthy rich. She could feed everyone in that country for it's for like years. the Vatican style. I mean, couple right. dude, couple Pinocchio situations. Kids go missing inside whale bellies, and I don't know. They're rich, but with these with these Nassar girls asking for a billion, you uh, you never know. You never know. Pinocchio is a pretty dark movie. Yeah, it's very dark. Yeah, absolutely. Is. Geppetto is like, what's his, what are his yeah. motives? You know, it's freaky. Mm -hmm. um, really got a joke. Be a real boy. Why'd you create me? <laughs> He's sad, <laughs> and it's before antidepressants. You're so a like, monster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do. Because I was voice. lonely, Pinocchio. <laughs> yeah, that's the answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's oh. a lot like how the robots are going to take over. There's a bunch yeah, of pedos right. right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a precursor to it's mm -hmm. it's an early early robot movie. Yep. Hopefully, they don't start creating robot boys. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's a joke. A creep. Joke. <laughs> Guys, a priest, a minister, and a rabbi want to see who's the best at his job. So they each go <laughs> into the woods. They find a bear and attempt to convert it. Later, they get together, and the priest begins, When I found the bear, I read to him from the catechism and sprinkled him with holy water. Next mm -hmm. week is his first communion. And uh, I found the bear by the stream, says the minister. And preach God's holy word. The bear was so mesmerized that he left that he let me baptize him. They both looked down at the wow. rabbi who's lying on a gurney in a body cast. <laughs> Looking back, maybe I shouldn't have started with the circumcision. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I, like it. Yeah. I thought that was going in a totally different direction. No, nah, it's a reduced digest joke. These are all safe. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There With you. the clergy, I thought you were headed towards uh, a <laughs> like pedophilia. Sure. Pedophilia, pedophilia. Yeah, 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 yeah. sure. Yeah. I thought that's where I was headed yeah. at, at the right. beginning. The accent made it a little edgy, but yeah, it did. I had mm -hmm. to though, right? Yeah, um, <laughs> that was why he did the joke. That's yeah. exactly why I did the joke. He takes a <laughs> for the accent. Yeah, right. <laughs> takes the training wheels off. I think I can do a real Jewy circumcision engineer. joke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's move on to some trending mentions and sticking with Will's fantastic coffee theme from yesterday. We have a few more dirty dogs that were actually trending today. First up, yeah. Uh, first up, we got Tristan Thompson. You guys remember Tristan Thompson? Oh, of course. Um, Card and, cheating on the Kardashian oh, girl. Yes, like nothing, right? Yeah. yeah. Chloe. And Classic this, dirty dog. This, the, this BuzzFeed down. headline I found, Tristan Thompson is being dragged by fans after it was confirmed that he slept with another woman on the same night that Chloe Kardashian threw him a lavish birthday party. And this was, I think, his 30th birthday party. That dog. Too. Now, what's really <laughs> fucked up is I can't believe he did it again. Oh, right. that's what all the Kardashian fans are saying. No way. Tristan yeah. did it again. Yeah. Whoa. All like you should dump him, Chloe. Like, you should, <laughs> you're so strong, Chloe. And then she gets back with him. They're like, we love you, yeah. Chloe and Tristan. Yeah. No, they're all full of shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lamar Odom cheated on her. Zill already almost killed himself. Yeah. It's true. I mean, at the bunny yeah. ranch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's, yeah, he really had some steam to let loose. You know yeah. what I mean? Put himself in a coma. He had ten pounds of of sweet candy a day while fucking every 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 girl at the bunny ranch, Took every gas station boner pill he could. Yeah. Um. So as you like, as you guys probably know, Tristan announced in January that he'd secretly welcomed the child with personal trainer Marley Nichols. And here's Marley Nichols. Well, while he was in a relationship okay. with Khloe Kardashian. But it was initially denied that he was the father when Marley sued him for uh, child support and pregnancy related expenses in December, though he did note that the only possible date of conception was on his 30th birthday in 2021, the same night that he and Chloe went public with the rekindled romance, the same night she threw him a lavish birthday party. So he had to so, admit to cheating on her <laughs> on his birthday yeah, because he of did. this. Yeah. He did. Wow. Absolutely. Oh, so he wow. had to like legally state that that's when when it was. The dog and, was cornered. But, yeah. but what what's the move there? Let me ask you this question. Yeah. <laughs> it was the dog's got corner. a bark when he gets in a corner. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> the thing about the court system, right, is is mm. if, if you file a lawsuit, it's public record. So, so this guy obviously has more than enough cash to pay for whatever pregnancy related expenses or child support that she's asking for. But she came to him at some point and said, hey, yes, I need cash. And he put it he to said, her in a way where she yeah. said, OK, 
the U.S. court system is the way I'm going to go about this, thereby making it public. What a gamble that is. He well, literally said, oh, he yeah. said, do it. If he only had sex with her once and he doesn't think he impregnated her, then why wouldn't you? That's 18 years of payments. That's what I'm saying is the gamble, bro. No, I mean, well, he was pretty confident. No gamble, though. There's no if he knows he's the yeah. dad. There's really no the gamble is to, also, why don't you start paying now and then if it doesn't work you, out with Chloe, why, then you say because he thinks she might be a whore. she might be a whore. Yeah, he but doesn't think it's his that's kid. why. But I'm telling you, he, he what is three years, right? You are buying time? Is it gonna be with uh, Chloe forever? He, it, it looks really bad in the courts if you've been paying for the kid for three years. Paternity like, test clears guilty. it all up. Well, okay, yeah. Well, the paternity test decided that he was the father. Right. So he is the father. Yeah, he is yeah, the father. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm just saying yeah, the options are. Have to take it. That, that was why he had to come <laughs> no. clean. He's the no, he could have. He could have just been like, "Cool, I'll pay you what you want," and then like at some point, no, no, Blake I mean, breaks up with Chloe, and then he says, "It works." Oh, no, he a paternity is the father. Test. Yeah, yeah, he put out this thing. Said today, yes, paternity test results. results. He didn't need to go there. That I fathered yes, a child did. with that's Marley. You're legally yeah, right. What are you not right. following here, Will? A wo <laughs> woman comes to you and says, hi, I think you're the father of my child. You can either say nope, and it can end in a paternity test, or you can say, okay, how much money do you want? You do that for a couple years, three years. It doesn't work out with your wife or your girlfriend or whatever. Then you say, paternity test me, bro. See what I'm Why? saying? What if it what did work out with his wife? Because then it's Chloe. Chloe doesn't need to find out. But what if he did? No, what if it did the, work out? You have every years? year to weigh it. Every year right. you can weigh it. That's so it's much just stress. buying time. Yeah, but it's buying. worth so much that money. It's terrible. It is a lot of stress. <laughs> <laughs> so much <laughs> money. He's so, so stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he has so much money, Sorry, man. You're living a double like life. Your life yeah. would suck ass <laughs> so hard. That's terrible, Pat. <laughs> How's it going with Chloe? How much money do I have in my bank account? Do I want to pay another year of this kid that could be mine? <laughs> yeah, I'll live Hear a me secret out. life for, yeah. for three years. Just, to, just set a calendar alarm to, just, to weigh your decision on the double life again. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Stressful finding out that you someone you know that you cheated on someone publicly. It's not a good look. I mean, that's stressful. Yeah. Yeah. To it make things worse, uh, Marley claimed back in February that even after the DNA test that he hadn't made any attempt to meet their son and hadn't provided any financial assistance. So a lot more to this story. To it just broke on the new yeah, Kardashian show, but he's a dirty, dirty dog. Yeah. Uh, moving on dirty to dog even, doesn't want to see him. No, he yeah. I don't want to see Maybe him. the Kardashian should. Uh, he's a basketball player, right? Yes. Yeah. Maybe uh, try, try a different sport, ladies. Yeah. Doesn't seem to work out with you guys and basketball no, players. Chris Humphreys, the other uh, James Lamar Harden, Odom, James Harden, all of them. Odom. Yeah. They have tough, tough, tough problems with relationships. Uh, moving on to an even dirtier dog. Let's check in to find out what the leader of the dirty dog pack is up to. That's R. Kelly. Um, oh, yeah. shit. 55 year old is set to be sentenced. <laughs> he's like pig pen dirty. Yeah, oh, he's, the, he's the king. Look at this he's guy. He's definitely yeah, the top dog. Dirty dog. Uh, oh, so he's 55. He's he's get he's going to get sentenced June 29th after a New York jury found him guilty of racketeering and multiple other counts last year at a sex trafficking trial that was seen as a signature moment in the Me Too movement. Prosecutors oh. allege that the entourage of managers and aides who helped Kelly meet girls and ensure their obedience amounted to cr a criminal enterprise. Therefore, the racketeering charge along with all kinds. I mean, he's a pedophile, right? That's what R. Kelly is. He's a fucking pedophile. So being that his sentencing is coming up, prosecutors released a memo on Wednesday that said this, that the R&B superstar known for his anthem, I believe I can fly, deserves at least 25 years or more behind bars for sexually abusing women and girls and uh, they, that he uses fame and money, blah, blah, blah. Now, this goes against what the federal recommendation for his crimes are, which are only 17 years. So they're saying throw the fucking wow. book at him even harder. Um, well, that's what they're doing with racketeering. That They use racketeering when they can't nail you on a specific charge. It's a catch-all charge, right? So, like, they re they really want him to go away. The that's what they're doing. Yeah. 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 Um, you think he's going to get peed on in prison? Oh, I don't know. I mean, every he's, day. He's going to have a lot of money in there, so he's going to be handing out gifts and stuff. I don't know. We'll True. see how long that lasts. But imagine him getting out at age 80. Like, one day, <laughs> R. Kelly just <laughs> gets out of jail and he's 80 years old. That'd be what incredible. What if he pees on a girl again? Like, immediately. I'm yeah. Oh, is he just there goes a, straight back to the well? Yeah. Is there someone as famous as him in jail? Like, I'm trying to think, I mean, what is it like for a guy that famous in jail? Like, you think but, it's great I mean, or it, horrible? Well, they said Cosby was like loving it. He was just yucking it right, up doing like stand up shows. Oh, right. That rapist what? Bill Cosby was in jail for a little while. But yeah, so there's him. Um, I mean, there's been a bunch of famous people. OJ. No, he never yeah. went. Yeah, he, he did. Went. He did go to jail. Oh, but for yeah. the second thing, when for the not Vegas. for murder, though, when right? the guy for the memorabilia, yeah. the yeah, makeup yeah. call, yeah, yeah, the, the rain check, call. yeah. I'm sure OJ OJ's stint was pretty good because you know everybody knew that they would that he would kill them. If, There's been a lot of rappers in jail. I bet it's great did, for. Did Mickey Rourke ever go to jail? He must. have. I feel like he did. Yeah, he's got a face like he went to jail. He sure looks like he went. Yeah, to jail. I'm pretty sure he did. 
Mm. Um, but let's Robert move on, Downey guys. Jr. went to jail. Yeah, Robert, Robert Downey, Downey Jr. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's move it's on. Not to a our... long stint, probably okay. Yeah. 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 Twenty. Right. I hope he's gonna die. Twenty five is long though. Hopefully he dies. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's a piece of shit. Yeah. Let's go to our last dirty dog, and it's a female. Uh, you guys know who um that is on the right there? That's yeah. Rebel Wilson. Yes. Rebel Wilson. Yes, Rebel Wilson. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think you guys would recognize her, so I wanted to get a better pick of her. Um, <laughs> thanks for having Rebel, fat Rebel she's Wilson. Lost, she's lost a lot of weight. Yeah, that's she has. Old... She looks great, right? Look at, I mean, yeah. look at her. She's lost a ton of weight. She looks fantastic. Okay. Um, and that's Rebel's new partner. Um, and she's going to be in the newest Olympic event set to debut in the City of Love in Paris, 2024. And that event is the Scissor Until Your Head Pops Off event. Um, oh, scissor yeah. like you're newly thin. <laughs> yeah. Might check uh, that one out. Uh, I kid, I kid. Now that's Rebel's new girlfriend uh, because Rebel officially came out as a lesbian or bi or something on Instagram when she posted that picture and she said, I thought I was searching for a Disney prince, but maybe what I really needed all this time was a Disney princess. Uh, heart, rainbow, heart, ha hashtag love is love. Um, so that's great. Good yeah. for you, Rebel. We are Rebel happy that you found ear muffs. And right. she meant, yeah. No, seriously, <laughs> put your muff on my ear. Yeah, exactly. Um, let, me get, let me get it on there. Now to the left, yeah. to the left, <laughs> and up right there on the nose. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, right. So that's uh, Ramona Ar uh, Agruma. She's an entrepreneur and brand ambassador in Los Angeles. But this isn't Good the first time. Couple. Yeah, this isn't the first time Rebel experimented with Bush. Um, in 2022, oh, really? uh, Wilson dated Jacob Bush, who oh. is uh, 11 years her junior and whose family founded the Anheuser Bush Brewing Company. Turns out Rebel has a thing for Bush. Huh. Uh, but mm -hmm. you know that was just the wrong Bush. Ah, oh, the other Bush dynasty yeah, in America. Close. Yeah, yeah, she was close. She yes. liked. She knew she liked yeah. Bush. She just wasn't sure which Bush it was. Um, she was beating spelled, around the Bush. That that's one right. has a C in it, yeah. right? Bush. Yeah, that's the uh, yeah. yeah, that's the shh yeah. Bush yeah. U.S.C.H. Yeah. yeah, I bet she's a hound dog in the bush after a few Bush lights though. <laughs> 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 that's, that's a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I kid, I kid. We love you, Rebel, and uh, yeah, of course, for her. I don't know. She wasn't that nice. Okay. I heard wow, she was yeah, a bitch. You got stories. I was that. around her. She wasn't nice. She was she was I, really yeah. weird. Well, it's probably because heard... she was like, you know, not out. Right. Yes. That's why she was standoffish. Yeah. To, she was yeah. living in a lie. She, mm -hmm. she hated it. Yeah. She was intimidated uh, by my sexuality, yeah, not being out. Like, I'm supposed to hit on this handsome man, but she doesn't but look very happy in this to. pick, yeah. does she? No, no, she, she doesn't. Like she's, no, yeah, absolutely. She's a lot happier no. on the other pick with her girlfriend. That's right. She really does. Anyway, good for you, Rebel, and the weight loss and the uh, and yeah. the bush. Uh, keeping with the dog theme, moving on, guys. Jurassic Park has officially been released, and critics are dogging it hardcore. Um, yeah, some some are even calling it the worst of the series, the entire series. Hey, that's that's worse than Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, thirty six percent. Uh, after over 180 reviews, the let's, critic critic reviews, no audience critic reviews, no audience right. reviews yet. But they're they're not happy with. Let's look at some of the reviews <laughs> from some critics uh, just to see how bad they are. Jeremy Johns, a forgettable monster movie that lost anything that made it special in the first place. Um, if like Jurassic World signaled the return of the franchise, Dominion signals its demise. Mm -hmm. It's really time to close the park for good and move on. There's nothing to see here anymore. Um, I just wish there were specifics. <laughs> or did you see yeah, the clip, Will? Did you see the clip they released where where they're in the plane, and uh, it, it's it's. I mean, I've uh, seen a trailer. The, yeah. Trailers don't Chris, ever tell you. Anything. Chris Pratt after. and and uh, Dal Bryce Dallas Hodder in the plane, and the plane starts messing up. He goes, "Is that another plane?" And the lady's like, uh, "Kind of." And it's a pterodactyl, and it looks so bad, bro. Yeah, yeah. The pterodactyl I mean, starts attacking the plane. So I was talking to you guys a little about it. Yeah, go ahead if you want to do the review. But let me just uh, do one yeah. more. Uh, there's there's one that's just very harsh. If 100 Tyrannosaurus Rexes were put into a room with 100 typewriters pounding away with their adorable tiny claws, they would likely produce something of greater value wow. than the witless bombast of Jurassic World <laughs> Dominion. Wow. I mean, it better be really bad in that guy. That yeah. guy. That guy. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a million, right? It's a. It's really limiting yeah. the odds here. A hundred and a hundred. I don't know. Well, I was I was talking with you guys earlier. Like here, I'm not going to get into like why all the dinosaurs are out in the world, but now all the dinosaurs aren't in an island. They're out in like the right. United States of America. So like every everywhere, every state has dinosaurs in the and world like, too. There's like there's the like world. scenes from Rome. And I was like, so it's like, what are they going to do now? They kind of painted themselves in a corner box. The storyline might be because strange. like what are they at this point? You, you'd have to assume that they have to kill the dinosaurs since they're probably killing humans. So, like the whole movie is just them like trying to. But I've definitely seen dinosaurs. movies that were that were panned by critics that ended up being fine. So we'll no, see. We'll see. I know, we'll but see the story, I know, but the storyline to me, I just don't know how they're going to get out away with this. There's going to be like some people for the dinosaurs. Sure. Mark, did you see it yet, Mark? 
It comes out today. I seen, it comes out today. I, you know, I saw. I rewatched Six, all the nine, way through three already. Nice. So, Mark, this might this might tell you something. This review from Emma Stefanski. If I had watched this movie at the age at which I saw the original, I would have left the theater in tears. I can't imagine the kind of yeah. person who would derive They're pleasure from honestly. any of it. And, it, right. and I would but not want to meet them. But the way they set the storyline up where dinosaurs are across them, right? the world, they have to uh, uh, evaporate. I'm probably going to like it then. Well, oh, I mean, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm still going to watch it. Dinosaur cool. hunting is going to be sweet. Oh, man. But Mark, but, you brought up a good point in the text. You said, if it sucks so bad, Sweet they book. might feel obligated to make one more, which would be awesome. Because I they'll love just, these. I, don't, I think what it. they should do is just reboot it. Just go back to the original park with better mm -hmm. graphics and do a better Jurassic Park. You don't even have to do the exact same storyline. Just start I over. Mean, it's not a, it's not a given that this one sucks yet. It's uh, just right, the critics. Okay. Uh, I'll bet you it does. Will. Well, if, if well, the, crit the critics gave Top Gun one 57 percent. So yeah. we, there's still what they give Top Gun two though. <laughs> Uh, like 98. Yeah, what they give Top Gun 2. Look, look at what the critics... Normally, I'm with you, Will, but in the past two Top months, the critics one. have been incredibly uh, kind to movies. It's a harder road with Top Gun at the box office for us to, to succeed, but I'll tell you what, man. No, Rotten Ron Tomatoes has always got yeah. shitty reviews. I bet, you, I bet you it sucks, always. Will. I, I, trust the, I trust the audience way more than audience that. Audience for sure. 100%. Yeah. I, the, the, and, the, the, and it's going to be like a 40 in the 40s. I trust, the I'll trust whatever the audience score is. Yeah. There's none yet. I reserve my judgment. Okay. As soon as I found out that Kate was pregnant i got cash an original jurassic park toy set with the jeep yeah mm -hmm. i'm like i'm always gonna go oh gee like yeah. have any of them been the good enough where, where you would get your kid the uh the new toy Clever set you're, 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 you're always gonna go oh gee cam's right? got an og shirt he wears right, yeah. right now you yeah. can't top the og i tried can't. to get an og shirt but it's too fat i was at the store oh, they sell me og shirt check out check fat. out they didn't have it below no free ads yeah. but yeah. but yeah. dumb yeah. good that's where i got, got cams yep <laughs> dumb good uh they just did a jurassic park drop it's fucking awesome check it out it's yeah. like some of the some of the coolest shit i've seen look it's gonna suck but we got top gun 2 from the clouds out of nowhere and it was right. totally was worth it and top gun 1 was rated 57 percent by the critics that's also a lot higher than 30 something will it's gonna suck i'm sorry yeah. It's, it's not gonna be bad. Good. Anyway, let's move on. We'll all we're all gonna see yeah. it. And we'll all let you know what we think. The, these critics aren't gonna stop us from seeing one of the greatest mm -hmm. film franchises yeah, ever. Um, speaking of Jurassic Park, let's go over to where they filmed the original, uh, Hawaii, for some not so great news. Before we finish with what could be the best news in the last I don't know hundred years, two hundred years, a helicopter carrying six tourists crashed into some lava fields on Wednesday, leaving all six injured and some in critical but this is a, a good story because no one died look at the fucking wreckage that they survived nobody yeah, died no in that nobody died as of, as of this recording no one has died the um, helicopter looks like it was just mangled like it's a piece of tin that was yeah. crushed up by a giant it looks, looks like it hit a hill yeah the helicopter yeah. landed into a hill yeah helicopter hit a hill um so no word yet on what caused the crash probably uh probability as far as uh, one guy says because he says um happens every year over there um, so we'll see. Well, there we'll it's see. a there it's a helicopter culture. You have a lot of tours going. Yes, on. Yes, every day there's that. That's fucked up. It happens every year over <laughs> yeah. there. I mean, you could set your watch to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like Bryce saying that about you know fucking car crashes. Like, we, well, we that's why it. they're good at jumping out of it. Then that's true. It's true. Um, but let's move on yeah. to some better news, guys. It is the cream of the crop. Fuck cancer, right? Yeah, fuck cancer hell yeah. to hell. Fuck cancer, right? Mm -hmm. We've all, um, I, 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 I believe, have known someone who has died of cancer by now, or has experienced just the terribleness of that disease. And for decades, scientists have been working tirelessly to find a cure. And we've made great strides with chemotherapy, radiation, surgical procedures, but still no cure. Um, but wait, from NPR, in a very small trial done by doctors at New York's Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, which is like the like ultimate cancer, uh, you know, hospital patients with rectal cancer took a drug called Dostarlamab for six months. The trial resulted in every single one of their tumors disappearing. Come on. All of them are in remission, 100% cancer free. It included 18 people and there's still more to be learned about how the treatment worked. But sometimes scientists say these kinds of results have never been seen in the history of cancer research and many are calling it a miracle breakthrough. Yeah, there's got to be a there's got to oh. be a butt, Wes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there's well. a butt with the, everyone's butt had cancer. Now now there's no cancer in the butts. Pat, so far there's no butt. The only butt is is that they've only tried it on a rectal cancer, but right. it is very promising because it now they're going to move on to trials Hell yeah. um in other 
it's part part of like stomach cancer is the next place they're going. Maybe, you know, hopefully lung cancer. I've already decided I'm not quitting smoking because of this. Right. Uh, me too. I mean, yeah. I made that decision just as you were, even before you got in the story. Right. Absolutely. Not only that, not only the cancer reversal, I'd, I'd seen recently where they are um, potentially looking at replacing your cells when you're older with stem cells so that you would age in reverse. So, mm, okay. Not in the, not the red states, Will. Yeah, we got to get Republicans uh, behind that first. No, there's going to be the, they're they're looking at it. So they're 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 researching. See, it. a lot of old rich Republicans are probably going to get behind this. Yeah, yeah absolutely. No. Once they are once you they, sure this is somehow it. crosses with abortion? Are you they're sure like, they're going to vote it no, but take it? All of a sudden, you see these guys mm. voting it no, look like they're thirty. And they're Eternal 80. life or unborn life? I don't <laughs> Weird know. Weird how that turned political all of a sudden. But yeah, it's uh, it's just uh, it was, it's just it was a funny <laughs> joke. Will is what it was. <laughs> they already eat babies for the same reasons, so you know they're, they're, they'll get behind it. It's one. Way I've been eating them. I don't think it's working. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm, I'm drinking their blood. I'm eating their fingers. I'm toes. going through a lot of babies over here. People are starting to notice. This is that We're first poop. The apple. What's, it, what's the first poop called? It's that. Yeah. Um, so how does this work, guys? How does this this drug? Uh, it's a class of drugs called immune checkpoint inhibitors. These are immunotherapy medicines that work by not directly attacking the cancer itself but actually getting a person's immune system to essentially do the work. So it's like steroids. So like imagine uh, Popeye is your body's cells and Bluto is cancer. Popeye is getting worked. And then all along comes these drugs, which is the can of spinach. And spinach. boom, Bluto is fucked. So um, these are, like yeah, these are drugs for cancer. And it crushes it. Yeah, it crushes yes. it. Pop, it. It helps exactly. your immune system just. To- Where does olive oil come in? Well, then you, uh, I don't. After you're cancer free, you have sex with your olive oil right. vigorously. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then you can abuse your body like you abuse olive oil. Right. You climb that bean yeah, pole. Yeah. You can abuse your body more. Um, so these drugs are, uh, they've been around melanoma and other cancers for quite a while, Don't but really hit have not me been. again, Popeye. <laughs> I know. We, I mean, we got to talk about how abusive Popeye is. You can. <laughs> Shut up, Popeye. <Alabama. laughs> Pluto's the abusive one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Pluto's the, they're both <laughs> bad. <laughs> you tell me he doesn't have roid rage. Popeye's just obsessed. Yeah, yeah. Pa- Popeye defends her from the abuser. He does. It's been a while yeah. since yeah. you've yep. seen a Popeye. The other guy's the one yeah. kidnapping her all the yeah, time. Pluto. Right? Yeah, he's the he's the monster. It's like Donkey Kong and the princess. <laughs> About yeah, as right, dark exactly. as Pinocchio. <laughs> that guy's yeah, always just grabbing olive oil. Yeah. It's also a dark cartoon. Yeah. Um. So anyway, that's great news. High hopes. Uh. For the. Uh. You know. For the for cancer and, and especially people with rectal cancer. God, you gotta be jumping up and down if you got rectal cancer right now. Oh yeah. Uh, There's oh, so many guys that have <laughs> been just shitting blood quietly oh, yeah, that are like, yeah. yes, I'm jumping yeah. up and down right this second. But <laughs> right. Well, uh, you know, you hopefully get in a study soon, but that's, that's fantastic news. Um, hell yeah. yeah, that's uh that's what's going on now. And that's uh, the cup of coffee in the big time and guys, a cup of coffee in the big time was brought to you by our fantastic sponsor, new mood. Um, we, we love uh, talking about mental health on the show, uh, for crazy bastards. We know the importance of getting your mental health under control. You hear us every day. We need it. <laughs> yeah. We need it pretty bad. Cause if you aren't taking care of number one, can't take care of number two, three, four, five, and six, who are probably in your mind, all number ones. Right. So, uh, that's what, that's what you have to do is you got to take care of yourself and you can take care of other people. Learning to manage daily stress and anxious thoughts is something we all want, but many of us don't know where to even begin. It's stressful to even just think about how to deal with stress, right? Just it's, it's an endless cycle of, of shit and it's time to get off that cycle and new mood can help you do that. New mood is here to guide you to mental wellness and give you the tools you need to tackle stress. So you'll feel empowered to take on whatever life throws at you. Um, I'm a huge believer in new weight. And so we were all excited when Noom came out with this new program, and it is fantastic. So with Noom Mood, you'll take the journey to mental wellness one step at a time. Their guided approach teaches you the power of shifting your mindset in just a few minutes a day. So no more excuses about, oh, I don't have time to go to see a therapist. I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. Literally, a few minutes a day, you can start down the right path of getting yourself healthy and your mind right. Uh, with a team of dedicated coaches, you'll have a support system helping you on the journey. So, um, you know. Share any differences. Uh, oh, that that's what I'm supposed to say. Uh, this uh, it's backed by science. <laughs> Little inside baseball for the <laughs> listener. <laughs> it's back behind the personal curtain. Example, right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, new mood. Uh, the, the the I use it a lot for sleep tools. Like they they the the stress that I feel uh, before I sleep. You know, you can't sleep. You're thinking about shit. New mood has helped me in that realm a lot, along with some of our other, uh, um, you know, uh, you know, degenerations. Yes. That's right. So backed by science, lessons based on psychological principles that teach you about your relationship with stress and anxiety and uh, daily curriculum coupled with one on one coach guides you, encourages you on your journey. So try it out. Um, and here we go. What's with the- new mood, yeah. taking care of your mental wellness is empowering. 
So worry less and feel happier. Sign for your trial at Noom.com slash factor. That's N-O-O-M dot com slash factor. Noom.com slash factor for your trial and get started on your mental health journey. Yep. That was karma for you purposely fucking up my ad read earlier this week. Yeah, uh, yeah, you really you really went off the rails, but it was a hell of a coffee. You left it yeah, all in the field. Yeah, nothing yeah. for the swim back. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> <laughs> one, you know, one of those other important people Wes is talking about taking care of. How about dad? And uh, Father's Day mm -hmm. is coming up pretty soon. It's, uh, it's time to get him a gift now. So, you know, it's a good gift. How about a personally engraved razor from harry's how about that uh with harry's you don't have to choose between a great shave and a fair price and with father's day right around the corner uh there's never been a better time to try or share the harry's experience will's holding up a very nice was that the starter kit for three dollars that's will? the starter kit bro that's, that's the starter kit for three Man, bucks engraved shit is like the best straight up the best anything that yes. i have that has ever been given me that's engraved i still have i keep it forever it's an Same. awesome gift anything worth a lick is engraved uh yeah so it's three dollars for that starter set will hold up or get the free engraving on any premium shave set for dad when you go to harrys.com slash hard factor harry's gift sets are the perfect gift for any guy in your life and their winston razor handle is engravable so you can make father's day even more memorable look they deliver a very close, comfortable shave at a fair price. It's about $2 per blade, and uh, the blades stay sharp because people have said that sh shave on average four times a week, that the eighth shave is just as good as the first shave, just as smooth afterwards. Um, so, you look, mm, Harry's so prioritizes smooth. simple quality craftsmanship, gives you exactly what you need. No pricey gimmicks or unnecessary bells and whistles. And they're giving, Harry's is giving their best offer to our listeners. New Harry's customers can get that starter set for just three bucks or for a limited time through Father's Day, get the free engraving on any premium shave set at harrys.com slash hard factor. There's never been a better time to try Harry's. Go to harrys.com slash hard factor to start your own Harry's journey or to save a few bucks on a gift like uh, for someone special like that, someone mm -hmm. in your life like that, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and how about we travel? How about let's go, let's go traveling. How it's about... time for the TikTok international moment. So today we're going to go all the way to Australia, the Florida of the world, then come back to Florida in the States because it is Florida man Friday, uh, full Florida man Fridays are, uh, is available now this week's, um, in patreon so go check it out there were six crazy florida stories and you can hear about the lemonade stand debacle on the side of my yard earlier today that i had to shut down oh, uh, yeah. what a show <laughs> and <laughs> only five yeah bucks a month. did that did 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 the cops get called you got to check patreon out oh, for that goodness. i'll tell you offline I, oh, you yeah. have to you have to check it out you gotta go yeah, to patreon.com slash hard factor for that story uh oh, and all the florida man stories and it's just five bucks a month to get all the florida mans and the discord and other perks uh so check it out patreon.com slash hard factor mm -hmm. all right and after that plug mm -hmm. we're now in australia uh and what's that Might. nope we're right back in the plane headed to the u.s and oh oh no we are detained by customs now uh-oh um, mm -hmm. That's because we are young Australian traveler and poor son of a bitch, Jack Dunn. Yeah. Unlucky. Jack Dunn. Check out Jack Dunn. Oh, no. <laughs> Have a Ginger. look at Jack. He looks yeah. like Ginger. a young Ronald McDonald without makeup. Yeah. Yeah. Does he look Is he like bald? That's a wig, right? No, I don't know. No, he's just a ginger with no sideburns. Look it won't be long Look at his West. eyebrows. Yeah. Wow. Red. Uh, does he look like the type of guy that takes getting detained for 30 hours and strip searched well? No man. No, no he looks He's like the real... type of guy that bruises. I mean, who takes hand. that well? Who He's takes crying the whole time? Hours, but, but, but I mean. Well. But I mean, if anyone like this guy looks like he bruises if you poke him. No, you're he's the type of guy that uh, if you detain him, he gets upset. You got to you got to put him on a list, a, a background checklist, even though yeah. he didn't do anything wrong. Because but it's me, Jack Dunn. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, manager, Cracker Barrel. Yeah, yeah. He does. Uh, so he's ready to snap at any moment. <laughs> poor 23 year old soft kind Jack quit his job this May after saving up for almost a year. Guess what his job was? Mm, manager, of Cracker Barrel. Shoe oh, he, salesman he was in Australia. Australian youth, youth worker because you know, know. He's, he has to deal with children and he's trying to sh make them soft like him uh, and he mm. took his savings and he bought a plane ticket to the US and to Mexico for what he said was a three to four month trip where he planned on catching a few NBA playoff games and he was going to go to some beaches just really explore the space you know because at when 23 did he land yeah uh, it, this was in May Okay. Okay. So he's so going to watch like the yeah. second round of the playoffs or whatever. Right, right. He doesn't. Uh, he's not landing during the finals. Like no, he can't afford that. I'll go to the finals, mate. Yeah. No, he was going to get nosebleeds for a couple hundred bucks somewhere. Might make my way to a finals game. <laughs> he's probably like an NBA fan. He's like, I don't care yeah. who I see. I just want to see a game of yeah, American it, basketball. You're you're right on it, Pat. Uh, problem is, he did not book anything post Mexico. Like no return flights and nowhere after Mexico. Uh, and 
that's not good. There's a rule um, where you can't do that. Uh, and the U.S., yeah, that's a little known rule for foreigners where they can't book an end ticket to uh, a neighboring U.S. property and have no attempt of going home at all. Like, you have to book a round trip or get out of the fucking North America area. Or, get a visa. Uh, or you get detained. Yeah, this is for, even with a visa. Mm. Uh, you can't mm. do it. You can't just like say for pleasure, I want right. to backpack in the U.S. and then Mexico for four months, but I don't know when I'm going home. It's Even though it's happen. Mexico's problem, theoretically, like if you bought the ticket. Yeah, because he could sneak back in. I don't know. I don't oh. know why it's the rule, but that's the rule. And Jack didn't know it either. So Jack lands in Hawaii, all smiles, hoping to have zero conflict per usual. And what happens? He gets locked up by Customs and Border Control, and he's placed in an interrogation room with no Wi-Fi. And because he did not have a local SIM card, he had no access to the Internet whatsoever. So he could not contact anyone or book any new tickets. And then they searched his butt. Uh, whoops. Oh. Now, po now poor Jack is having panic attacks left and right, which he still claims to have from this experience. And one airline worker takes pity on him and offers Jack his phone in the interrogation room. He walks in. He says, look, you can't get the internet. Just use my phone and book a ticket away from North America, and then you'll be free. Uh, and Jack wipes his tears away, and he says, thank you. Uh, and he takes the phone and books a ticket to Panama. Oh, wait, nope, his debit card's declined. He didn't have enough funds for that ticket. Uh-oh, Jack has thousands of dollars in his savings, but he can't get online on his phone, and I guess he didn't want to sign his bank and his bank credentials in on the airline worker's phone, so now he's in a pickle. How about a cheaper flight to Guatemala, Jack thinks, and he's, as he's about he didn't to hit download book. his bank app and just move no. transfer money to his... No. No, you don't know don't Jack. Do well, he's an idiot. And as he's about to hit, uh, you know, book on a Guatemala cheaper flight that he thinks he has enough funds on his debit card uh, in walks a customs agent and, and scolds the airline worker for trying to help Jack kicks him out and then searches Jack's butt again for the second time. That's, that, that's, <laughs> like, that's, that's Hawaiians for you. It's like watching a Mr. Bean movie. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, they did literally strip search him twice. At one point, he said he was just handcuffed into the to like the wall, like naked for hours. Like they didn't give him his clothes back. Um, <laughs> finally, after a lengthy interrogation. <laughs> no consulate on Hawaii, bro. Yeah. Where's your clothes, bro? Get some uh, gross. Get some clothes, bro. Uh, after a lengthy interrogation, Jack is just uh, sent home to Sydney, Australia to have panic attacks and nightmares back home where he's jobless and a disgrace to his family and friends. Now, uh, Jack leans into it, though, telling everyone with ears how horrible the experience was and how he's now petitioning the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade to update their website to highlight this unique rule. Uh, he says, obviously, it should have been added to the Smart Traveler website because everyone goes there to check the rules. I don't want anyone else going through what I went through. It's just not Right. It's, it seems like not many people get caught in this situation because they no. seem to be relatively they, aware of the rules. I I'm bet like, some yeah. do. I bet some. I, they, I bet some they, do. They, well, they either book uh, like a flight home if, or if it's open ended, they have enough money to just get a, another ticket, which right. Jack couldn't seem or to they do. don't squander their one yeah. opportunity to book a f flight. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Dunn and his parents have lodged several complaints with everyone. A spokesperson for the Customs and Border Control said, quote, under the visa waiver program, applicants must have a round trip ticket that would transport the traveler out of the United States to any foreign port or place as long as the trip does not terminate in contiguous uh, contiguous territory or an adjacent island like a u.s mm -hmm. property uh uh unless they reside there like if they live in mexico fine uh in addition applicants should be able to demonstrate access to sufficient funds to support themselves for the intended period of their stay so they poor shame jack on the way back on the way out mm -hmm. uh, when they were asked for comment you shouldn't have uh, been here you poor yeah. fuck they poor shamed him officially. And then Jack tried to uh, take a different holiday since he had some money and time off. And he went to Thailand. Great choice, by the way. But sadly, he had to return home after suffering several panic attacks while in Thailand. <laughs> okay. I mean, come you on. getting the picture here? Yeah, I mean, like he's, he's gonna to try to sue. He's gonna try to like sue the TSA or something. I mean, this like, guy's getting cavity search was like that's like his absolute nightmare. He's like, what? What do I do? Where's my mom? You know, like he's no. Sure he's just, I think he just wants to sue. He want, he's just like a sue happy guy. He's probably just setting up for a lawsuit. He's right? pathetic. And good luck cutting that segment into something that doesn't get a bullying charge on TikTok, Eric. Uh, yeah, right. It's hard yeah. to not bully old Jack. Uh, I mean, if there's a, I don't know if there's a quota. Like, hey, you got I couldn't do it. You got to check this many cavities a day. But if there is a quota and you see Jack, he's an easy cavity search. He's going to be clean. Hey, I'm here in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Pinocchio. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Quick Florida one for you. Let's head to St. Pete, shall we? Shout out Tampa. Shout out St. Pete. Uh, here is 29 year old um kenneth gray oh wow uh, 
Yeah, he looks like a tough like guy. A wolf man. Huh? He looks like the opposite of Jack <laughs> Dunn. Yeah. He's in between he's got hair. becoming a wolf. In fact, he's got hair everywhere Jack doesn't. He's got yeah. sideburns and a beard. Jack yeah. definitely can't th- grow would, a beard at all. He would and bully the shit out of Jack. He's got big sideburns and a shitload of hair on the sides, but nothing on the top. It's like really <laughs> right. balding in the top cir- top center. That's right. Yeah. yeah. But he could get some transplanted from his everywhere else. He can't um, afford that. No, he can't, especially not now. He got arrested recently. Actually, Pat, can you look up Kenneth Gray, 29-year-old from uh, Florida? I'd be uh, happy to, Mark. A background <laughs> check this. Uh, he got arrested recently for a crime that could have uh, could have long-lasting impacts for him, You know, like like sex offender, uh, sex offender registry type thing. Mm. Uh, but what if I told you it was all a misunderstanding? It's an E or an A, Mark. Uh, Kenneth with two N's and an E, E-T-H, and then Gray with an E. A lot of E's, all E's. Okay, okay. And what, what city is he from? Uh, he got arrested in St. Pete and he's 29 years old. Got Kenneth it. Okay. Gray. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Um, yeah, this is a misunderstanding. According to Kenneth, you see the cops arrested Kenneth for having his cock and balls out of his zipper and for trespassing at 2am outside of a Mexican restaurant, the red Mesa cantina in St. Pete. Oh, uh, nice. when, when officers arrived at the restaurant, gray was seated inside a fenced area near the outdoor bar. He like scaled the fence. It was closed. And he just like was sitting on the <laughs> outdoor patio next to the bar with his cock and balls yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm. and he was detained and charged with loitering and prowling, not his first charges as Pat will get to in just a second. Oh, I got uh, him. Kenneth told the cops that, yes, it was true. He was trespassing guilty. You got me. But that the genitals out and about and all over the outdoor chairs rubbing up against him wasn't malicious. He wasn't just do. He, he wasn't like jerking off. He said he was like, I'm not trying to show anyone my stuff. I was doing like a chakra new age chant and cleanse that requires my cock and balls to be out so my spirit can be cleansed. So mm. uh, that's all he was doing. He was just trying to get his spirit cleansed with his with his stuff out. Um this is not the first time, though, someone had their cock and balls out in Florida and tried to use the spirituality angle. So the cops didn't buy it. What, when did this happen? Mark? Uh, I mean, he was masturbating. He was masturbating on the patio. I'm not sure. For sure, ha- for sure. Maybe he's done it a few times. He has here, a though. lot of charges. A uh, lot of indecent exposures. Uh, yeah. Well, he's got yeah, a, number, I mean, a number of trespasses. He's got a couple of batteries of law enforcement officers resisting an officer with violence. That sounds like an oxymoron. Uh, he's got more battery of a law enforcement officer. Public urination. That was back in 2019. Yeah, so he's already on the registry, probably. Uh, another public urination back in 2019. Drunk in public. Drunk in public. Trespassing again. He likes to be places that he's not supposed Listen, to be. Listen, he's homeless, so eventually he's going to get caught okay, masturbating. Okay, Wes. You got to make me feel like an asshole that I'm calling out the... <laughs> right, he's a homeless who's masturbating okay, on a patio. Wes. Yeah. All right, He's a homeless Wes. guy masturbating on a patio. He's <laughs> Did the homelessness <laughs> cause the felony battery back yes. in 2016? Really, homeless people get caught for doing this kind yeah, of thing. It was a spirituality <laughs> thing, guys. <laughs> You're real. I want to get I want to get Jack Dunn and Kenneth Gray in, a, in, the, in the interrogation room together. In an octagon? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to go home. <laughs> I have no home. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> He's got a LinkedIn, Wes. He's a massacre. He's got a LinkedIn. How could be homeless? red curls all over the ring. He doesn't have a LinkedIn. He does, and it's very sparse. <laughs> I don't know. There's no he way. Have a <laughs> he He's, got a, He's got a MySpace top eight. <laughs> got to be the wrong kid. Uh, there's no way. He's got a LinkedIn. He's got a top eight. They're all homeless guys. <laughs> He's got neighbors. Dan. Uh, it, Dirty lists, Dan and- <laughs> it, it lists neighbors. <laughs> no, that, Pat, that's his last known whereabouts. <laughs> <laughs> what year was that? Yeah, it doesn't like say. A, like a, like a aunt. Does he have any known shit. associates? Yeah. Oh, he's got some associates, bro. <laughs> yeah, uh, he does. He's got <laughs> a couple of them. Houses. Oh, man. <laughs> so there you go. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, guys, I don't know if you know this, but God, when he made the earth, uh, who or she, whoever God is, whoever you believe that's, uh, God put a ton of like... Um, little uh, riddles on this earth uh, things for us to find right that can enhance or change our perspective our mood our vibe one of those things for example marijuana another one of those things what what what, what end up being supplements uh, and mushrooms guys and first person who is uh, sponsoring this next segment uh, they have taken and found a lot of these mushrooms, did the work for you, hacked the God code, and put them in these little pills that enhance your daily existence. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's very cool. The guys that founded First Person, um, their father and their grandfather suffered from Alzheimer's, and you know they were 
looking down the barrel of an Alzheimer's gun. They said, we got to do something about it, something for our cognitive and mental health. So they developed first person. Uh, and now there's these supplements. They're pretty dope, man. Um, that can help with your motivation, your focus, your uh, the golden hours for connection and joy. Moonlight is for deep restorative sleep. They're finding these these things, right, on Earth, putting them together, and they affect how you feel. It's pretty, pretty cool. Absolutely yeah. very cool. There's a revolution of this stuff happening uh, yeah, cool in, this, in the supplement game. Together. And magnetic. Yeah, first person is magnetic. absolutely dope. Uh, my favorite is the golden hour. Uh, it stimulates production of oxytocin, which is uh, the hormone that you get when you hug people, right? You ever heard of that? Hold a hand, that's oxytocin. Mm -hmm. It stimulates production of that. So maybe when you hug you hug a little bit longer. It feels a little better. It also mitigates stress. and Just boosts don't give it to R. Kelly, right? You know? No, do not keep oxy. You got to deprive that man of oxytocin. <laughs> yeah. He needs yeah. oxytocin blockers, if you right. know what I mean. Um, but seriously, guys, golden give hour. Him the sleep one. Yeah, yeah. give him the moon. <laughs> 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 Just give him all can the from sleep first, ones forever. Yeah. Uh, but no, yeah, seriously, the golden hour one's super dope. Uh, I haven't done uh, the sleep one yet, but um, the sunbeam, the motivation and focus one is super cool too. So guys, check out First Person. Uh, go to getfirstperson.com. Get 15% off your first order. Uh, use promo code hard factor. That's one word. At get, G-E-T, first, F-I-R-S-T, person, P-E-R-S-O-N, dot com. Getfirstperson.com, promo code hard factor. Get 15% off your first order. Uh, it's get per, getfirstperson.com, promo code hard factor. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Okay. Um, I got bad news for the boys. Well, don't tell us. Well, I'm going to tell you. Sorry, I'm going to tell you. Over the last four years here at Hard Factor, uh, we've been keeping you abreast uh, on the slow and imminent progression towards a normalized human robot sexual experience. You, you guys know that. It's a topic we love to cover. And up until now, as men, we've mostly focused on the five W's of the robot hand job, which obviously will precede the ultimate pinnacle which would be the undistinguishable robot blowjob and today i i do have a couple major updates in the technological breakthrough space in uh, robo sexbotics but this first one is not for the boys it's for the ladies oh, <laughs> that's the bad wow. news <laughs> up, rebel. but you might still enjoy it um guys japanese scientists Don't they have enough with them when it comes to this the ladies yeah, uh I, toys yeah. the toy department the dildos are impressive what they can do these days it's they insane are. I would they, never leave the house. I'd be masturbating the whole day I mean, if I was a woman. The articulation yeah. on those things, the, the different, I mean, it have like directions. A, it's got like five yeah. different pieces, you know, like it's crazy. You know, like your, your hands when they get in, when they're in the pool too long and have like those type of fingers to just be in myself. All right. What were you saying, Pat? Oh, nothing, man. Uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> yeah. This one's for the ladies. Hey, yeah. yeah. They, do, do they have enough? I don't know. Who knows, Wes? But uh, they're going to have a little bit more. Multiple um, orgasms. Yeah. So, guys, Japanese uh, scientists have developed a, quote, slightly sweaty robotic finger covered in living skin in an advance that they say brings truly human-like robots a step closer, a full step closer. Well, this is for well. everybody. Because this is, this is going to affect uh, old fashions. Robot old fashions. It's gonna this just is a fingering robot. Well, yeah. I mean, it's just hand, a finger hand robot. Hand as of right now, it's just, as of right now, it's just a finger, guys. Um, the, we'll the, just put five of them together. There's That's the right. finger. Take a look at that. Oh God! Check that out. <laughs> <laughs> looks, that looks like it's probably pretty realistic to touch. Yeah. Well, it's growing. <laughs> right? well, guys, it, they grow it. That yeah, it growing. grows inside that thing. Yeah, so guys, the finger, which but I'm is, horny now, guys, the finger, which, by the way, <laughs> has been shown to be able to heal itself, right, is seen as an, an impressive technical feat this that blurs, so blurs the lines between living flesh and machine. Yes. But guys, scientists were divided on whether people would uh, warm to its lifelike anatomy or find it creepy. So they put this finger to the ultimate test. Here's what they did. They gather up a test group of about 50 women and they rented out a movie theater. And while a screening of Magic Mike played, Half of the women who were in the experimental group <laughs> got the robot finger, while the, while the other half of the control group were fingered by scientists and scientific interns. You mean nerdy scientists that didn't know what they were yeah. doing? And guys. <laughs> yeah. Robot I mean, one. I mean, it's yeah, the ultimate robot, test, robot. right? It's the only way to find out. 
Um, well, the, the results were sexy and inconclusive. But one thing the lead developer of this tech did say is, quote, guys, since the finger is driven by an electric motor, it's also interesting to hear the clicking sounds of the motor in harmony with a finger that looks just like a real one, adding, you could hardly even hear my pony during the metal shop scene over the cacophony of motorized servos operating at max speed. Um, and the coming. Mm -hmm. My pony. You know well, that's a, it's a Magic Mike reference. Um, Ride yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. it, it was top scene. Uh, yeah. Tim, he's in like a metal shop and then he practices stripping. It's very hot. Um, guys, moving on. <laughs> We're moving on. Sorry. Hang on. Uh, I just need to say, this is ridiculous. Like everyone's worried about uh, the gays and transgender people. We're literally creating flesh robots, people. This is not good. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be the real issue uh, eventually. It's, it's pretty yeah. great. It's pretty yeah. great. Uh, no, it's when, when you give robots emotion and, and, and animate them, it's not going to be good. What update Why for is that? I can't wait. Because you're creating like a race of robots that can think and like feel this is, this is like, and have emotions. Yeah, but like, but it's like, why gonna, would you do that? It's going to be like the new Jurassic World. Yes. Once the robots or come. West because World. people, you're, yeah, people are just going to have to accept the fact that they're just going to turn the robot off sometimes. Couldn't we so. just just not do this though? Why are we it, doing it? We're creating an entire like race of robots that are going to have feelings. Because well, I mean uh, that we can. I'll yeah. tell you why, Mark. It's, they're gonna they're gonna be stronger, better than us. Like it's just stupid. We're gonna West World, top of the day. food chain. One West day. World came out in 1978, yeah. I believe, and uh, I remember it. We learned uh, nothing from it. I remember it as like one of my first boners uh, when also, they Mark, were banging the robots in that West World, and right. a lot of other guys probably felt the same way. A Mark, lot of this scientists. Is also, this is also why I've been trying to get you uh, to team up with the orcas because that's the only way to defeat the incoming robot uh, army. Well, I don't think robots can swim. We're going to have to learn how to no. live underwater. So I'm saying you throw them into the ocean, the orcas yeah. deal with them. Yeah, yeah, it's true. All right, guys, let's move on. Uh, so we covered this uh, a little earlier this year, but a new artificial skin has been developed at Caltech uh, that can now give robots the ability to sense temperature, pressure. Uh, it's much like human skin and an upgrade to human skin can even sense toxic chemicals through simple touch. Uh, yeah. And a yeah, robot, what's the pressure of that uh, tooth whale bite? Huh? Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just hang that over yeah. their head. The whole Is this time. Coke real? <laughs> yeah, yeah dude, that's such that's such a perfect application for it. Um, is there fentanyl in this cocaine robot? Mm -hmm. oh, Tell yeah. me. Uh, we need a new robot hand. This one's dead. <laughs> uh, guys, this technology was developed by uh, this horny fella. Uh, we've talked about him before. That's Wei Gao, who's Caltech's assistant professor of medical engineering. Look at that son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh, he, can't, just, he can't develop he this robot, robot fast enough. He's yeah. working on it so hard, guys. Yeah, he let me uh, let me play a little clip from uh, Wei Gao's team. This is from Caltech, um, and uh, this is explaining what this robot does. Our skin continuously adapts its shape and sensitivity, instantly informing us of hand. potential dangers right. as well as possible pleasure. Oh, yeah. Pleasure to generate artificial awareness. Our team has integrated a variety of sensors, from temperature, pressure, and chemical, onto a fully printed electronic interface allowing for ultra-sensitive and autonomous robotic perception. The Mbot will sense the small electromagnetic pulses in the arm and interpret the user's intention within milliseconds. This AI model will then automatically mimic the user's movement on the robotic arm as they pull away. You see it grab that ball? Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do you gotta do, jerk off in the air and then the robot jerks you off? It's, it's funny yeah, you say that, that Wes. They it's funny you that. say that. That one's not there yet. Yeah, yeah for that now. Was that Wei Gao talking? No, I don't know. But Gao's team has coupled the skin to an <laughs> so interactive like, system that using it, for his butt. it allows the human user to control a robot through their own muscle movements via electrodes that are fastened to an actual human or an operator, which would mean, as you were implying, Wes, for now, the experience would be essentially a proxy hand job at it's best. Like a Pacific right. Rim hand job. Right, with an yeah, operator right. jerking off the air while the robot right. does the dirty work. That's um, funny. But the system <laughs> does, guys, provide feedback to the human skin. <laughs> That's how I like it. I want, <laughs> I want the guy operating to see how hard I it's the ultimate stranger, though. Yeah, yeah. you know, like because you're not yeah. even touching yourself; it's, it's the robot hand touching you. It's, it's it a real one step up. It's a Wizard of Oz situation, <laughs> though. You don't want to see behind the curtain. Some people are going to be employed to do this. Just jerk people off all day as the operator. <laughs> They're going to be breaking, bucks an hour. breaking lamps left and right. Yeah, there's Max. definitely going to be like an OnlyFans style guy that's the operator jerking it like yeah. thousands Milking of guys food? off yeah. in a factory. 100. percent And guys, the hand uh, it's not, it doesn't go one way. It's not just a one one way uh, communication is two way. So it, it provides feedback to the operator in the form yes. of mild electrical stimulation. So the That's operator good. will know when the client is, quote, done right. and it's time to bring in not, the next gentleman out at the factory. They're going to turn the stimulation off. Those operators are going to go numb to it. They're going to yeah. have to they're going to have to turn that off. So one day yeah, there's going to be a booth. 
where you can walk into the booth and there's going to be a robot arm there and it's going to have a real life human hand and you're mm-hmm. just going to sit there and a robot's going to jerk you off. That's yep. going to happen. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. In Amsterdam, yeah, for sure. sure. Yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah. And for now, there's a guy right outside of the booth or a gal. You think right. it's a gal. It's it's advertised as a gal, but it's probably a dude uh, jerking the air off. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, for now. But what, that, when it that goes job to, is going to be so hilarious. Once it goes to, once it goes to, yeah. to market, it won't have the other person. It'll just be, it'll just be the robot. Yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll you think so. No person. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. I don't By know. the time they take it to market, it'll be totally on. I think there's going to be some like really skeezy places, like the old school like uh, porn movie theaters. So I'm saying it'll be like that. People are going to go into these dirty like factories, and they're going to like you know cover their faces and pay like twenty dollars, yeah. and there's going to well, be a guy there that's just jerking the air off all day. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. so hear me to out. To outside. save save time and efficiency, sometimes yeah. he's jerking two yeah, airs two, off yeah. at the same right. time. You know what? <laughs> Call me crazy, but I think there's still going to be guys who pay for human hand jobs and human sex. I oh, think for so sure. Too. For well, sure. Will, all of the all will exist. Will. Well, what it yeah. will be yeah. is all it'll, of it's going to exist. It'll be virtual, so you'll have a machine in your house, a hand in your house that's yeah. attached to your computer, probably like via you know a, a clamp, and you'll just sit there in a cam girl. You'd be like, turn yeah. it on, this turn it on. This will be way cheaper though. This is you. Combine it. It's not if you have your own home rig. That would be super. Oh yeah, that's well, how it'll just, be. And the camera will be controlling it. It'll be more. It'll be more a la carte. But a lot you of guys are going to the factory. It's four dollars a pop. It, a it'll be very similar be to school. The Wizard. Remember that movie with Fred Savage and the yes. Nintendo Power Glove? Except, yeah. mm-hmm. except it'll be a cam girl wearing the Power Glove, jerking that air off. Okay, there's moving gonna, on, guys. There's going to be a whole lot of shit talking between men though about if you fuck robots or real women. That that's going right. to be a, a big divide. Mm, yeah. You won't know. Some scientists are saying that. Oh yeah, no, no. People will claim they'll be like, no, real, real all day. Creep bullying. What? What? Where'd you say you go? What? Thirty fourth and and thirty fourth Street and, and West. That's the robot factory. <laughs> the robot. District. I saw you. I saw you walking on thirty fourth and West, pal. I saw you on the robot this district. Be such a- yeah, Why are you so district. happy? Why are you smiling in that area? Yeah, robot yeah. fucker. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, by the way, guys, I want to call this out. Um, it's a hard factor trademark here. A lot of these people are calling the scientists engineers or roboticists. Okay, but we all know, right? When they, when they develop a robot arm that can handle an egg properly without breaking it, it's for one reason, one reason only. So I want to coin the term here. I want to make it clear. I want to say it publicly. I want to trademark the term robosexpotics. Uh, these are robosexpoticists or okay. botanists. Uh, robosexpotics is the industry. Uh, yeah. Just. You, I called it here first, but finally, guys, if you can't wait Robosexpotics. for the her- horny nerds in the research laboratories to laboratories to perfect robosexpotics, and you want to bang a real sex doll that talks, uh, where you really have to use your imagination, then you're in luck because they the first it, yeah. the first sex robots are about to come to market, uh, and naturally, their makers have programmed them to speak with what is universally accepted as the sexiest accent of any country in all the world. And I'm, of course, talking about the Scottish accent. Uh, And I know know what you're thinking. Maybe Realbotics, the company behind the soon-to-be-very-busy Harmony 2.1, they must be Scottish, right? Well, you'd be wrong. Realbotics is an American company, and its CEO... Americans, like, they go nuts for accents. Yeah. Yeah. So. No one can figure it out. I remember the internet's baffled by it, but Matt McMullen must have a thing, the CEO of Robotics. Uh, and Matt is demonstrating Harmony 2.1 and how she can be controlled by an i can be controlled by an iPad here. That system, you can connect the AI that you've created in the app to the this robot guy. and carry on the conversation it's with her that way. So many robots. Once you've got that loaded and you hit chat, um, she just comes to life. Good you came back so fast, baby. I'm glad you came back that fast. Why, wow, baby, 10 minutes without you seems like an eternity. Weird. So obviously a lot to be de- be desired as the real scientists are, are developing um, Robosex botics properly, but um, no word on when Harmony 2.1 will be at market, but it's very soon, I promise. You can already buy this Harmony X on Real Doll for, we've covered that, that guy, we've had that guy. talk, right? Yeah, no, it talks. Um, it, so it might have been a plug-in. It was just it's the, the robotic head? version. Full. It's six. It's sixty-two hundred. Yeah. No. They still. Yeah. How much is it worth? Sixty-two hundred. Okay. Yeah. They still. They, they've got these. They, you. You just have to nothing. pay. Yeah. You just have to pay. Right Look. Now. Check. Check out Harmony without yeah, her mask like, on. It's a car for them. They use it. Like, oh. Does oh, that get you going? Does <laughs> that turn you on? <laughs> With the teeth really turn me on. And then the, I'm wearing, I'm wearing my They Live shirt today for a reason. Sometimes I like to take her face off. Mm-hmm. And then fuck her. See, this is this picture. It's, right it's here like is fucking exactly a J- Jason with teeth. <laughs> yeah, this picture is exactly why there's going to be the divide. Yeah. There's going to the be in, a the big. Insults, yeah. yeah, there's going to be a big. 
Big time insult culture. Some guy's going to show up to your like, house Robo if you have one of those, and they're, they're going to take the face off in front of a party. They're like, look at this. This guy's fucking this thing. Look at the uh, combined <laughs> probably 40 years of education here uh, working on a uh, thing that dudes are going to fuck with their dicks. Yeah. It's interesting. Oh, yeah. It's oh, like shit. that scene in Carrie with the blood, uh, but they're going to just take the face off at a dinner party and laugh at you. They're all going to laugh at you. <laughs> yeah. But you can pay Pat on if you go to Real Doll, this app now it says purchase the Real Doll X app to create custom avatars to connect to your X mode robotic um, app. So like you can create avatars, I guess for you could change their accent. I think so. Yeah, I know it's weird. People are really confused on, especially the Scots are really confused why the real robotics guy programmed a Scottish. Accent. I wanted to talk like a deaf chick. <laughs> He's really into um, Jon Snow's <laughs> girlfriend from Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> Put her on death mode. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they, they, by the way, no one got fingered in the theater. I was kidding. Uh, yeah, we know. Mm. We know. That wasn't the study. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I said Japan. You never know. Weird stuff uh, goes yeah, on over there. That's true. It's true. All right, uh, bird dogs, fellas. Before we move on to voicemails and reviews, well, and and more, frankly, uh, to close things out, let's talk about bird dogs. Bird dogs have completely changed the game for men. Bird Dog shorts, pants, and joggers are made of the finest high-quality material and come with built-in liners that cradle your stovepipe for all-day comfort. Who the fuck likes being uncomfortable? Hmm? Hmm? Nobody. nobody. Not Pretty me. Much nobody. Uh, in fact, nobody at all. Uh, it's time to upgrade to the shorts and pants of the future. Your balls will thank you. Go to birddogs.com. Enter promo code HARDNEWS, all one word, and they'll throw in a dad hat. That's birddogs.com, promo code hard news, and boom, a free bird dog's dad hat with your with your pair of bird dogs. You will not take these things off. Oh. I promise you. Is Pat yeah, wearing the pants, on. the joggers? Mm -hmm. joggers. The joggers right now. Some jo very nice looking. Been wearing them all day. Fatted out of my jeans, fell right into a pair of joggers. Nice. Toss wow. that uh, hard news code in and boom, a free bird dog's dad hat with your fair pair of joggers uh, or shorts or whatever you want to get. Bird dogs has the best. You can get the liner optional in the pants. It comes in the shorts. Bird dogs. Enjoy them. Summertime. Best mm -hmm. time for bird dogs. All right. Let's do the hive five. All right. We're going to, I'm going to call it the hive five, or I will uh, from now on up to you guys. Hive no, five. Yeah. Didn't a listener come up with that? Yeah. Like thanks it. to yeah. at not scooty scoo, uh, who submitted that scooty name, scoo. the hive five. And so what I've done here today, fellas, is I've got five sections notes and questions, comments, five star reviews, videos, and then five minutes of voicemail. Wow, and that's what's going to be the high five. High five, okay. High five. Uh, it's it's five different sections. A lot of them have five in the name. Lots of fives. High five. Uh, but before we begin, I want to take a special shout out to video producer Eric and intern Jackson for getting the TikTok page to fifty three thousand followers Whoa, the same nice. week that Eric's team in the Philippines and intern Al got Instagram to fifty three thousand. So mm -hmm. boom, look at that. Both of them hit fifty three k at the exact same time. Facebook will be hitting 53,000 next week as well. Uh, and it's the youngest of them all. Snapchat next. Twitter almost 25K. Ride with the hive. Wherever you like to doom scroll on social media, we are yes. growing everywhere. Spread the mm. word. Mm. Especially the video channels. Especially the video channels. Um, oh, that, all right. That choking out a pit bull video is doing a great today. Nice. Mm -hmm. As it or should. On TikTok? Yeah. Mm -hmm. On Facebook, actually. People oh, like yeah, choking, but... choking out dogs on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bobo Club. Yeah, you, it is you, impressive. You know they love that. You know they yeah. love that on Facebook. All right. Notes and questions section. Uh, first up, Wale on Instagram wants to know if Pat thinks now is the time to invest in crypto right now. Five words or less, he said. Absolutely, fucking lootly, dude. Okay. There okay. There you Fortunes go. are there made you go, in the downturn. Yeah. I Still wish I could Wale. go back and get in, but I will say this. Wale, you're, there's going to be a bull run. Okay, but what did we learn? We've been through two bull runs. This will be our third bull run when it happens. He said we have, five words or less, but yeah, yeah. whatever. Okay, you, well, it I said it. you can't expect Pat to do five or less when it comes to crypto. Okay, oh, fuck yeah. me. No, I'm just I saying think, it's true. I think, that was Wale's, Wale's, <laughs> I think that was Wale's joke, actually. Him? Yeah. No. But it's, yeah, you should. Get in now. There'll be a bull run in, <laughs> in the next couple months. There you go. All right. Yes, good, good, good advice. Uh, Colin Phillips, he got his dream job. Uh, but unfortunately, hey. he called in. He said he, he lost his girl a couple of days later. Mm -hmm. Hang in there, Colin. Hope the new job kicks ass. It's offshore drilling. Uh, so Love doors you, and guys. windows, right? Yeah, doors exactly. and windows. One shots. Focus on the on the job for now, right? Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. positives. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now more comments. Uh, Zach Philibrook 
Zach Philbrook, no, no second eye. Zach Philbrook on Instagram says, are we worried about primates now too? And it's that orangutan video, Wes, you, you wanted to play earlier in the week. Good. Yeah. So what's the status? You, you concerned about primates? Yeah. I mean, top, I mean, no, uh, chimpanzees on the list. Chimpanzees worry me a little bit, but only if they're like as pets. I, you know, I'm not worried about primates. There was a viral video of an orangutan grabbing a man from yeah. inside its cage at a zoo. Yeah. Because it's incredible. He holds onto his leg for like a minute. And the <laughs> it's hilarious. The guys, his buddies try to kick the orangutan and they can't get it. He's lucky he didn't lose his fucking leg. He's this just fucking strong. with him, though. That orangutan yeah, no, could have done a lot his leg more. Off. Yeah. yeah, he could have. Um, I would say too. Yeah, I mean, not yet, but my my worry is that like the whales are going to get them on their side. Like they're going to be like, hey, other animal groups that are badass. Like, well, whales is, are mammals. Now's too. the time. That's what Remember, I'm saying. Now's the time. Primates are mammals. The if they came yeah. together and they were That's like, what I'm let's take about. out the top mammals. Yep, it's possible. That's why we got to team up with them before the robots get here, so we can feed the robots to the orcas and maybe to the orangutans too. Um, okay. Next uh, comment is from uh, Jacob Harder. Uh, he says, uh, check this out, guys. The previous car fucker has nothing on this guy. Look him up. And uh, it's a man who has slept with over a thousand cars <laughs> on YouTube. What that's, a lucky guy. That's, that's ridiculous. Sad. He's the Will Chamberlain with? Of, of cars. No, he's fucked a thousand cars. I watched the video. It's really short. It's just he's just like, oh, I love the cars, mate. And I just I fucked a thousand of them. Uh, and yeah, he jerks so off you. on cars. Thank you to Jake. Yeah, the, the, pro the problem with that is lot, you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. There's just this is if you just think about the math, there's just no way you can get permission to fuck a thousand cars. There's a right. lot of there's a lot of people that don't know that guy's banged it. Show banged me the car facts. Did Jacob get to it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that Jacob's bird down? shitter? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Johnson and this uh, this this is just a new headline, but I thought we should bring it up. Uh, Justin on Thursday, two people were trapped in a chocolate tank at the Mars factory in Pennsylvania, <laughs> uh, believed to be about waist high. So they were just trapped waist high in chocolate. What a just dream! Dipping their fingers <laughs> in. <laughs> yeah, like having. Well, yeah. until you have to pee. I was yeah. thinking about it. Ooh. It's awesome until you have to pee. That would suck to pee in that snacking on chocolate all afternoon. Mm. Delicious. Um, any other comments, guys? I think I think bring uh, in the milk. I That's what I have to say. I think Mark. Yeah, somebody yeah, sent you. Austin sent this in. Oh, uh, oh, oh I, well, let's do this one later. We got, we have a related voicemail. Okay, to that okay. Yeah. Then we'll do this one. Um, yeah. Louis DM'd me in the Discord personally, and he wrote, "Don't look behind you." Earlier this week in the morning when I woke up, and I was like, "Hey, Louis, that's about the creepiest." message i've ever seen and then mm -hmm. and then 10 minutes later he goes do you see me yet <laughs> so he just <laughs> pretended to be you know in my home or whatever did he uh, ever respond beyond that uh i i wrote back blocked but i didn't block him and he goes no 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 i'm sorry okay. my bad and then okay. and then he wrote and then he wrote a, a did a gif of like michael scott being like my bad and and then we didn't stop we haven't talked in four days and i don't mm. i really don't know what he was trying to do there <laughs> that's crazy he, yeah. Louis, that's awesome. I mean, it's really not, it's not low life, yourself. Louis. I don't want to no. besmirch his name. This is Louis a different with four E's. This Welcome is a different to the Discord, Discord chat. Louis. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have one. Will uh, someone DM me and said uh, that weight loss uh, pill that I was talking about that there that is just a miracle drug, like thirty five percent weight loss. He said that um, insurance will cover it if your doctor or pharmacist is a weight loss specialist and fills out some kind of paperwork for you. And he said. Um, with that, all four of us probably qualify for this drug oh, based on sure. our weight. Oh, if fuck you. If you're yeah. obese, you can get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I qualify for sure. You see how much <laughs> I'm sweating right now? I mean, I just, it's insane. <laughs> yeah. That's it's cool, insane. though. It's worth a shot. Yeah. Dude, the cancer treatment and then now uh, this weight loss pill is good stuff. Man. Guys, we got to get on some pills. Yeah. Dead in no time. <laughs> <laughs> Here we got it. <laughs> all right uh comments comment section and we got a little tough love for my personal favorite internet commenter of all time you guys know who i'm talking about that's three two one dan the man one oh, two three no. and he commented yeah. it on a video where i was talking about uh, an indian couple who was suing their kids remember that one yeah uh, yeah and dan dan the man says look at me i have sunglasses on exclamation point wish i could be cool like you he got us again point. he got us again that son of a bitch <laughs> the man you that man. son of a bitch see but dan has sunglasses on in his profile <laughs> I, know. Right. I love dan the man dan he got care <laughs> Pat. he got him <laughs> he gets us all every time every time we post anything on on meta whether it's instagram facebook three two one dan the man one two three is lurking got it got to tip your cap to dan the man especially for me he's got dan the man's got a heart on for me he's got he's he's, he's keep he's keeping a, a look what, out for my what video. kind of name is that i can't even background check that uh because he's because no. it's he's so many dan the mans that he took three two one dan the man one two three yeah great name he's an egg 
He's definitely an egg, even though he has a picture. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, shout out to Joe who sent me that uh, DM. Uh, Joe S. So Joe, sure nice. Right. Thanks, Joe. All right. Uh, five star reviews. And this week, it's a good one. Remember, you can drop them on Spotify now. Spotify, five star reviews. Pow. Drop it. Screenshot it. Send us what you want us to say on the show. And uh, this one's from uh, Mar Marius uh, Bernotas. I nice. probably said that name wrong. Sorry. Uh, he says, first, just want to thank you for what you guys do. Bar on the best news show out there. Nothing else close. I'm in the Navy and was out on deployment for most of 2020 and 2021. And the first thing I did whenever I got a, a cell service was make sure I downloaded all the episodes I missed. Damn. Got me through a lot of long days out there. So thank you for that. I'm getting ready for a move from Virginia Beach to the D.C. area. And I've been saving up uh, Florida Man Fridays and Hive Hours for uh, the multiple trips I'm about to take up and down I-64, oh, yeah. which, oh, yeah. as you guys know, is the worst highway in the country. <laughs> I'm honestly looking forward to it, uh, knowing I have uh, those loaded up and ready to go. Thank you, Marius. That's, awesome. that's exactly what you're supposed to do. There's more people in the voicemail do the same. Thank you for your um, service, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you for your service, for sure. Uh, uh, on another note, it's been a while since y'all dealt with this, but to all the aviation <laughs> hardos out there, give the boys a break when they talk about flying shit. I'm a Navy pilot with about a thousand flight hours between fixed wing and rotary wing, and I still have no idea how any of it all works. <laughs> when people ask me how aircraft fly, I shrug and say, it's magic. Yeah. Uh, so let's give the fellas a pass <laughs> on their aviation takes. Well, that's yeah. settled. Go, boys. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, Marius. I was drunk nice. at a bachelor party, and the guy whose bachelor party is one of the, one of the smarter guys we know. Um, what pft's brother he uh was explaining to me that flight like was like an accident like they were trying to i, I forget how he described described it but it was like a miracle like the the fact that we can fly they were trying to do something like with like a trajectory and like it just like somehow like completely worked like how 3m was trying to get silver or whatever in the mines and they completely found something else and became 3m like <laughs> flight's like a miracle for sure yeah should, shouldn't should we shouldn't be able to fly Right. I mean, he, he's done a thousand hours, Marius, yeah. and he's, he still doesn't get it, but he does it. It's cool. Flight's Doesn't amazing. Physics explain it. Hmm. Yeah, but like, that's Probably. the thing is like, if you're physics, a scientist. Yeah. He, he None was, of us was, are scientists. Okay. He explained it to me and I didn't even get it. You know, like, right. yeah, exactly. No scientists on this show. No scientist show. We just do the nerd voice when we yeah, quote yeah. them. Uh, more good news, though. This video from Iowa City at Coach's Corner, fellas. That is from Clutterbuck oh, in the that. Discord on the food thread. He said, someone say chicken wings. Ordered oh. them for under $100 a case today for the first time in over two years. Wanted to bring that back up because that's what I mentioned yesterday. He's got a metal. He's got a metal. He's got the metal bowl to spin them in. Well, that's what the pros use. That's that. Dude, that's at the, That's at Iowa City. Coach's corner. He's that's that's his spot. That's Clutterbuck's Whoa, spot. Dude. He's looking for the amount of wings. Awesome. I know what and I'm doing for dinner. He, yeah. he cares. He cares about cleanliness. He had he had the glove oh, on. That's uh, a top tier. Place. I'm ever in Iowa City. I'm let's going to Coach's this, corner. Speed the show up. Does anyone? Uh, yeah. Hold on. I got I almost got Dan the man. I almost got him. <laughs> You're trying to find Dan the man. I mean, I have him. I have, <laughs> him. I have him. one Dan the man. One two three. Oh, I'm just nice. doing my diligence here, but I got him. Yeah. That's great news on the chicken wings. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. And also Dan the man. Hopefully, yeah. Oh, your cup. My mouth is watering. Cubs fan, Dan. He's near you, Will. He's oh, really? A, did you notice that uh, that hat he's wearing is a uh, is a Las Vegas Knights hat? That's why he's after oh, your ass. Oh, he's coming mm -hmm. after me. That's why he's <laughs> after your ass. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. I'll, I'll come see you in the streets, Dan the man. Uh, all right. Another video submitted by The Hive, uh, and it's celebrating the success of Top Gun, man. <laughs> the former Korean War uh, fighter pilot talking about how he waxed Tom Cruise in a dog fight. That's he was awesome. eating with chopsticks, too. Yeah. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. Great. Got a video. Korean wife, probably. <laughs> like yeah. Chester, right? You got War Bride. Uh, <laughs> that's how good I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Cruise say that? <laughs> but he can't. Uh, <laughs> and uh, oh, before we get out of the videos, one more video comment uh, from uh, resident. Uh, Hard factor um, YouTube commenter Jack Sever. Sever? Mm. Not sure. I'm, I'm literally Sever. seeing comments that he's making while we're taping this show in my YouTube notification. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. He, he he fires them off. You go he to youtube.com slash hard factor news to see his work. Uh, he says 28 <laughs> minutes on yesterday's show. Why is Will advocating for more federal spending for firefighters? Triple, triple question mark. Doesn't he know that's going to increase inflation? 
triple question mark. Uh, mm-hmm. But Jack, I just ask WWJD, what would Joe Joe do? And now we both shall see that, as I said on the show yesterday, uh, the spending has actually uh, already been accounted for in the infrastructure bill. So they've probably already printed it into an inflation. So someone in the chain just isn't using it since wildland firefighters we know are still making 14 bucks an hour in many cases. So it's really sad to see Jack, you know, turn on the firefighters like that. Um, and Jack, if you don't believe me that it's a big problem, take it from a firefighter's son in the heart of Hive who also wrote in the same day you did um, at our Daniel 91. He says, hey, boys, uh, going off the firefighters discussion you had today. You're absolutely right. Those guys slash gals don't get paid shit. My dad has been a firefighter my entire life. And without overtime slash callback pay, it's hard to make a living. But public safety is the first place local politicians look to look at to cut costs instead of cutting back on their own salaries. Also, firefighters Mm -hmm. are dirty dogs. (laughs) My dad's initials are DD. So the guys nicknamed him Dirk Diggler and put up a Dirk poster in his locker. Dirk Diggler poster, (laughs) dirty dogs. (laughs) <laughs> oh, that guy's a dirty dog. Mm. Dick dirty. Dirty. No. <laughs> so, Dirk Diggler's the uh, mean, Boogie Nights guy, right? Yeah. 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 The big yeah. dick. Dirty dogs. Yeah. If it's you were to ask Jack me. against the firefighters, man. Huh. Yeah. Well, he's talking right. about some sort of specific uh, political spending bill that he read. Um, if you were sure. to estimate I'm how sure old 123321 three, Dan is, would you say he's 48 from that photo? Mm. Oh, I'd have to see his photo again. Mm, I think he's 48. Yeah. How do you know exactly what Jack's talking about? I don't. I, I'm searching down the man over here. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I, I got his arrest record. I think. Oh, how'd you get that? Well, his wife's a little loose with her social media permissions. <laughs> 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 oh shit! <laughs> yeah, Jack, got, lay, off the, lay off the firefighters, Jack. They deserve. It's fourteen yeah, hours really, an hour. Dude. It's, it's yeah. like that's like nothing. Not hours a good hill to die on, Jack. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lay off the firefighter thing. Yeah. I mean, normally cocksucker. I mean, normally, <laughs> passionate guy caring about the little guy, Jack. You know, oh, I'm surprised yeah. he would do that going after somebody who makes not much money. All right, uh, voicemails. Up first, it's Gavin, then Rad Dad. I had to cut theirs a little bit uh, since uh, Gavin loves the Hive Five, by the way, guys. But I just cut out all that praise for us because mm, we're nice. humble. Um, and right, then Rad Dad. You. Rad Dad, uh, he's got uh, a question for us, but I had to cut it out a bunch of sound because uh, he, he was in his cop car and uh, mm. lots of distracting cop car noises. So Gavin and Rad <laughs> Dad like, just things off. Uh, there's a triple murder, and he's like just yeah. leaving us a voicemail. L- literally, you'll, you'll, you're about to hear it. Yeah, <laughs> you see, for you real. See? They keep interrupting. <laughs> you see? <laughs> oh my God! There's so much blood. Everyone rush to the scene. He's like, <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, it's Gavin. Um, I hope everybody's had a good week. I'll try to make this quick. I have a question at the end. Um, lastly, I want to know what y'all think, you know, Will, uh, what you think about the commanders. You know, I know you. this has been briefly talked about on the show, but just, you know, speak your truth. Speak your truth, baby, on, on that, uh, that team stadium potentially moving down, uh, down to Virginia. All right. Have a great fucking weekend. Yeah, I mean, Gavin, I, I think maybe Gavin, I mean, I'm, I'm excited. I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm, I think that like it's good for our friends and family who are Commanders fans who are in Virginia who will be close to the stadium. But I just saw last week and then again on Thursday that they're shelving the uh, the bill like uh, for the stadium in Virginia for oh, now. So uh, they, might have, they might have no stadium or they got a state. Well, they're just, it's nobody state likes Dan Snyder. So Lo- who knows Lo- how it's going to end up. They, but Lo- they did buy all the land in Dale city though, which let I mean, me ask it. Let me ask the question that I think it, grew up in that area. The specific question will, regardless of whether it sounds like it's not happening, but, but the, we, we learned something about the intentions and this is what I'm curious on your take is. So RFK stadium was one of the smaller stadiums in, in the league could have been the smallest where this, yeah, where this didn't st- it become the um, DC United stadium. It did. It yeah. did right? Yeah. So, uh, so I guess the argument uh, was like, "Hey, DC is not; uh, they're not not accustomed to a small stadium." But what do you think the what do you think the strategy was behind going the smallest in the NFL? Do you think it's like because they have the lowest attendance in the NFL? Do you think it's just that, or it yeah. just seems like a defeatist move? Like go yes. like well, go smaller. They know, every, they know everybody hates Dan Snyder. They know Dan Snyder's not going to sell the team, so they know that they're going to have no attendance. They're having to have no sales. They're every the, all they they rely on TV deals is unless the team is like literally winning Super. Super Bowls and nobody will go to the games because Dan Snyder's a piece of shit. I mean, nobody likes him. 
Yeah, it is cool though for because we're all Virginia side, so like it's it's cool better than it's, it's yeah, it's cool for where Virginia. it is now, right? Like yeah, mm -hmm. the, the rotating in, in route John Maryland, DC to Maryland, down but it's to Virginia, bad for hopefully. traffic. Like if you worked in that area, that might be. Oh, annoying. I mean Maryland skins, Mar or sorry, Commanders fans, Maryland Commanders fans are done. They, I mean, like dude, yeah. you, they're not gonna. They, I, they would just, I would just become a Ravens. Fan. Right, switch to Ravens. To you know what I was thinking is tight though. Uh, the place where they're looking to build a stadium is out by Lake Anna, right? Oh, uh, I love that lake. So it'd be sweet to do like a, lake. Uh, so far into Virginia though. Yeah. But but that's pretty much where it's it is. Absurd. Yeah. But it'd be sweet to do like a lake weekend. That was like the, the lake I went to growing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like an hour and a half <laughs> south of DC. That's insane. That's just so stupid. I, I mean, I think it's I honestly I think it's dumb. I think it's great for our friends of Virginia, but yeah. Gavin, if I'm gonna be honest with you, I think it's so fucking stupid they moved the team out of Washington, DC to Maryland in the first place. And I think it's so fucking stupid. They're going to move them to Virginia. Yeah, it's just, the Washington just commanders. They're just rotating. Be, you get 15 yeah, to 20 ridiculous. years in Virginia, then it goes back to DC. Maryland yeah, which there. makes it yeah. the, just like the joke franchise it is and has yeah. been since Dan Snyder bought the team. TMV. Yeah. Hey, by the way, right. uh, shout out Wes for his Photoshop skills increasing so dramatically. That's a really cool graphic, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh. We got the uh, 4th of July merch. Really graphic. well done, Wes. It's great to watch you. Your progression as a graphic artist is, is really <laughs> I was awesome. more proud of my uh, of my dog, uh, the YouTube thumbnail last night. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was nice. Were well, you doing with, good uh, work? You're you're doing with, good. Uh, with, oh, so. with Deshaun as the dog, the main <laughs> yeah. dirty dog. I wasn't <laughs> disparaging that piece of art either. I was just saying. No, this I know. Thank, nice. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Let's keep going. We got Rad Dad here. Happy weekend, boys. Uh, it's Monday morning. Uh, well, really early Monday morning, and my weekend starts at 8 a.m., so I guess you could say I'm somewhat in the spirit. Uh, today, on Monday, Wes, you had a story of that candidate that wants to get rid of porn. Uh, inside TV story, events. you listed a bunch of countries that have porn banned. Um, and I thought about it. How do you introduce one or all or a few of these countries to porn? Like, how does the government do that? I don't know. I feel like if you just go ahead and drop Pornhub or X videos or I don't know, right there. Um, um, as you can hear, I'm at work. You know, everyone's going to be stuck in front of the computer or on their phone, just fucking cranking one out or you know, flicking their bean. Um, I feel like that's the worst possible way to do it. It's like resetting uh, the entire you country to you be 14 year olds at the Have same great time. Fucking weekend. It's like ending prohibition is what he's saying. It's yeah. um, it's, they're already doing it, Jack. They've got they've got VPNs. They've got all Dan. kinds of stuff. They're, I'm sorry, Dan. They, they they're already they're already doing it. Um, but so. in theory, if you were to engineer it, would you soft core them in? Would you playboy them into Skinamax, into uh, penetration, no, into like, nah, DVDA? Sounds like they rip stuff. it off. Rip off. Yeah, off the yeah. just rip off that bandaid. Band okay. Band yeah. I agree with uh, Rad Dad though. There's going to be Rad a lot Dad. of masturbators that first week. So it's yeah. going to be mm. nonstop. Rad Dad's the call ones. was was hilarious too because like after you heard that radio pop in from his radio it, he got interrupted like five more times by the radio immediately it was busy night great crime never sleeps you know? <laughs> it's yeah. that kid that yeah, he not hates chicago <laughs> that's on the uh the, the rookies that are on the uh, the that's right. radio that he hates <laughs> yeah the title tales yeah, yeah. rookies it's all the chatter yeah, all right the chatter. uh they raise their hand in meetings <laughs> next one yeah rad dad i think we're band-aid ripper offers anybody yeah. anybody a playboy anybody i'm, just, I'm thinking about like the first time you saw a penthouse and how shocking the inside of a a, a woman's vagina was and like think then well, thinking right. about like you got over that pretty quick didn't you i mean i mean it took me it wasn't that quick <laughs> like it's like, I mean, you saw it and then you were like, okay, now I'm, now I'm going to go. Take it, it wasn't like that for me. I, I had a little <laughs> out of reflection. It was a reflection period. Uh, it, it was like the five stages of grief, honestly. Oh, okay. Well, but we're all different. Maybe may shocking for some. Yes. Okay. Next voice. Those, those countries. Hey, boys. Uh, Tony from PA here. So listening to Monday's show about the objectophilia, would fucking a paraplegic count as objectophilia oh Tony. Uh, they can't really move uh, i'm not asking for any personal reasons <laughs> just kind of really curious and i figured if i have that question somebody else in the heart of ohio definitely has the question oh, for sure. so it's gonna seem weird but you can make fun of me if you want i don't really fucking care anyways have a great fucking weekend boys <laughs> really? looking forward to the next trivia and i love you peace so <laughs> no, this, Jesus, this is a clear-cut answer no this is a clear-cut answer <laughs> Yeah, they, no, it's no because inanimate yeah. object means not living. So right. Paraplegics are still alive. The better a better question, Tony, would be would 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 fucking a dead paraplegic be like an object? Fuck. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's go. what you should ask. There right. you go. And here it is for uh, for this is necrophilia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, Tony. Our necrophilia acts object fuckers. That's that's the question. 
I'm right. not really sure. Now that's 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 possible, but I'm no, I don't. I think Tony's I say question yes. was about. I'd say yes too. They're fucking the dead bodies and objects. <laughs> yeah. I say yes, yes too. It's, it's, but no on the live paraplegic. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he misspoke because otherwise, Tony, I'm not sure anybody else had that question. Right. Um, uh, and then here's a related. I know rather. everyone's thinking it. Yeah. <laughs> nope. nope. <laughs> not until now, Tony. <laughs> uh, here's another. Here's a related. What would you rather from Austin McCutcheon? Uh, big time listener. He says for tomorrow's episode, I'm not too late. Uh, do a, which one's worse? A furry as a partner or an object fucker as a partner? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And yes, you are involved. With with this oh with the sex right you have to help them with it oh my goodness so, so furries Good fuck one, other Austin. other people that's the thing so an object fucker is probably better it's harmless because, yeah I'd yeah, rather yeah. yeah they're weirder but like you right. know, well no 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 I think he means you would have to be you have to fur up you have to suit up you don't you, or you, dress like no, a no, plane no. what are you talking about right <laughs> exactly you'd have here to comes dress the up airplane they would dress up <laughs> both of you dress up <laughs> open or up. help somebody fuck an object look I'm not I'm not into the furry shit whatsoever so I, I would just find an object and, and like put it in someone's butt or something you know like yeah I, I'm I go going furry objects. I think the object eventually would reach a reach a place where I was just too weirded out. Too weirded I, out. I agree yeah. with Wes. It's like a yeah. cosplay thing. I could I could probably get over that because like the yeah. objects will escalate. Yes, to, they will. To 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 eventually insane, it's going to be too much. Like, look at look at Yuri. Look at you. Look at Yuri. Sure, Yuri's right. definitely Ashtray. an object for feeling. Right. Oh yeah, he's that, yeah. he's fucking awesome. Hundred percent. Well, we have to define furry because like there are certain cosplay chicks that are like animated. that could escalate that, too. That, that, that well that could be. So that could be. Still don't like bend the, the fantasy to to your will here, Mark. We, we you know what this is like a like a squirrel. I don't want to fuck like a giant squirrel. Furries like, are oh, people no. who have an like, interest in. Uh, like giant, you know, like a, the, they're animals usually, right? Anthropomorphic. I think I'd have a no. I'd have a no mask. Uh, so furries, mask. by definition, are giant animals. That's <laughs> yes. That's what they are. So you have to like just fuck a giant furry uh, mascot. Like, take the helmet it's off. It's fucking a mascot or fucking an object. Well, no one talks about how start. smelly being a furry is too. Yeah, like like no one talks about the smell. Yeah, I'm going objects. But Pat, you're going to be fucking objects. You can clean an object. Objects are usually made out of plastic. You're still getting the human. What if what if she's into an ashtray? What if she right. wants? Right. What well, if she you wants have to, to get on the ashtray? What if she wants to like fuck the toaster or something? That's just you, is, too, is, so this, is this the just only don't have her do it by the bath the rest of your life? Because then I think we're furries. If you like, if you that, have I mean, he said no, he said relationship. So you could potentially end this yeah, at one day. You could be like an object fucking relationship over furries and then also have normal sex. With someone, yeah, I would go object if it's that. I'm going furries. Yeah, yeah, we're split on this. That was a yeah. great. Would you rather, Austin? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Next voicemail. What's up, boys? This is Kalen from Maine. Um, I'm listening to the Friday episode. Uh, hearing the story about the secund secundius, <laughs> <seated Anderson. laughs> which is hysterical. But um, and I don't know if you're doing voicemails anymore. It doesn't really matter. You can play this voicemail or not. But if you really want to get some good laughs, in Google. Pompeii graffiti, all the graffiti they found all over Pompeii, and read some of those on the show. The funniest shit <laughs> okay. you'll ever hear. The Romans love blue graffiti. Anyways, uh, hope you guys are doing well, and if this gets played, great. If not, definitely get some good laughs out of the graffiti. Talk soon. Bye. Thank you, Kalen. And it mm -hmm. did get played, and I've got some examples for okay, you fellas. Perfect. Right. Chill. Okay, uh, the first one says, uh, th uh, Thephelius uh, don't perform oral sex on girls against the city wall like a dog. So that they called out the Felius. Yeah, they called out the Felius for performing oral sex <laughs> on him a dirty girls dog? against the city wall like a dog. Yeah, He's only got dog. one speed. <laughs> the Felius, the dog. God damn, Felius, what are you doing over there, bro? <laughs> God damn, hungry fella, <laughs> eating another girl out. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Jesus, the Felius, the Felius. God damn, the, the swallowest jaw in town. The wall. Do you ever work? <laughs> How dog. hungry are you, boy? Uh, <laughs> that's a dirty dog. Uh, the the next one, next example is a uh, weep, you girls. My penis has given you up. Now it penetrates men's behinds oh. by wondrous femininity. Suck it, girls. <laughs> Too late. Oh man. Besides the Felius. For the evil on that guy. <laughs> No more, no more free eatouts. Ophelius <laughs> is done. Uh, the wall is closed, ladies. 
<laughs> it's ass as I eat now. <laughs> that, that's a pretty healthy expression. Like back then, they were just uh, fuck dudes. Now they, uh, you know, go on shooting sprees when when chicks don't want to fuck them. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, this guy was just very happy. Yeah, they, to come, I mean, come look, out and start banging sh- men. I'm with you on the shootings being horrible, but I think back also, then they Pat, had like, Coliseum Rome, fights and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Pat and Rome, it was legal to kill people. It was, it was yeah. legal to kill people. It was, yeah, it was literally it was like the Wild somebody. West about, out there. No, you can murder somebody and get away with it big yeah. time. Uh, uh, here's the next one. Chi, I hope your hemorrhoids rub together so much that they hurt worse than when they ever have before. <laughs> and they know that they've hurt real bad before. That he's a wordsmith. Yeah. Hemorrhoids are horrible. I yeah. mean, <laughs> she sees that. He's like, how does he know about my hemorrhoids? <laughs> To get, talking your, about my hemorrhoids. to get your hemorrhoids called out in graffiti is tough. Yeah, yeah it, it is. And then this one was probably written by Thophelius. Uh, he says, I screwed a lot of girls here. He just <laughs> yeah, that's Thophelius. <laughs> Thophelius was here. <laughs> Against this wall. <laughs> <laughs> With my tongue. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, thank, you, thank you. Thank uh, you. Uh, the caller for Maine. I forget your, your first name. Um, um, here we go. Don't perform oral sex Galen. on girls against the city wall like a dog is incredible. <laughs> that, he's the best, isn't he? The yeah. feel is. Yeah. I, I mean, we got Rome was was pretty fucking cool. Well, you know, whoever wrote that didn't oh. mean that. You know, they say they don't want the feel is doing that, but no. Yeah. Sorry. Wait. No. Sorry, Pat. I, oh, sorry. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Please. So I just wanted to call in real quick, and I'm going to make this fast because I know how you guys like fast voicemails. So as a person that works for the United States Postal Service, and I have a lot of friends that are mail carriers, it is not the pit bulls that they worry about. Mm. It's the fucking labradoodles. Yes, the labradoodles <laughs> and these poodles. Not the little ones. The ones that are like like waist high. They're huge. Right. Those are the ones that usually, at least around here, have been attacking people. And yes, it does. And it does. People do suck with a lot of these dogs and during the pandemic because my dog, who is a pit bull, got bit at the dog park. And it took me two days just to get Here him into go. the vet because they're so overcrowded wow, because Wes. people are just jackasses and they just let them out on the street. And they're like, oh, yeah, just go. I mean, yeah. it's really it's really messed up. Um, I'm sorry. But for the uptick. most part, at least what I've seen in my life, it's the people, not the dog. Mm. Um, I'm sorry that you guys feel that way or some of you feel that way. I <laughs> uh, just hope that, you know, maybe one day you can find a pit bull that's like uh, really nice and maybe you'll. Change your mind on it or something. Man. All right, boys. Have nope. a good one. Bye. <laughs> Man, that straight from the postal service, Wes. Are you Listen, he's full turn... of shit about these labradoodles. They're, they're, Wes, that's he... right from the USPS. What are you yeah, kidding? Okay. The, he, he, there's no one that knows more about which dogs are the most dangerous. Exactly. Right. But he's also a pit bull owner, so he's, so he's, he's, he's he, it's in his best interest to spread false propaganda. Yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> I believe him on the labradoodles, but he's disqualified from talking about pit bulls as a pit bull Yeah, owner. absolutely. Yeah. Listen, I, I met a nice pit bull today. Uh, walking my girlfriend's chihuahua. I let the chihuahua meet it, but the whole time I was very scared. It's just the fact that they're the most powerful and dangerous dogs. Just have a few regulations on them. That's What's all up? I'm asking for. What's up with this <laughs> sissy-ass pit bull not destroying that dog? I know. I was so scared. I was so nervous. No, this guy, the U.S. Oh, the yeah. Postal Service. Why didn't he? Because he trained it good. Because uh-huh. it's not It's not. It's not, it's not, not a killer. A, it's Look, not there are attacker. good pit bulls, but some yeah. of them. Most yeah. of them are. Most of them are. Most of them, most them are good. Wes, I mean, it's yeah. sad that even a call like that from the USPS can't can't even. Listen, get no one's been listening to me. Your mind a little bit. I'm I I I've met some nice pit bulls, but they are by far the most dangerous breed when they snap. That's it. What about Rottweiler? They're very dangerous too. Okay. Less calm. I, I, would, I don't know which one is uh, more dangerous. Pit like bulls are way more dangerous. That's why they use them as fighting which, dogs. Which would you rather get bit by? A fucking I, Rottweiler. Like a Rottweiler over a pit bull. They let go. I mean, Rottweilers are huge, man. Yeah. I don't know. They let go. Pit bull, Rottweilers are pit bulls are known to have the the, the 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 grip and lock. Yeah, it's true. It's a, it's like you've done a lot of research. It's a fact. Stallone's character from Over the Top, <laughs> right? <laughs> is essentially like a pit bull, right? Like 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 yeah. it, it, the one malleable piece of its body, its jaw has been just bred to to be as powerful as possible, man. Right. It's absolutely right. right. I think I'd rather yeah, get okay. bit by a, right. a pit bull than a Rottweiler. You're, I, I you're still, not smart. I, I still, I still think they're all right. All right, here we go. Last voicemail. What's up, boys? It is Brian from Maryland. I am currently en route from Maryland to Ohio for my brother's bachelor party. Nice. Yeah, bachelor party in Ohio. Hmm. Real, real fucking exciting. But uh, what I did do right before I came here because I wanted some more uh, content on the way. 
subscribe to the Patreon. Um, Hell yeah. Clutch. Yes. So, uh, yeah. Join the ride for a couple more hours. So nice. much uh, content. Shout out to Will, who uh, gave a shout out to uh, Novavax yesterday. <laughs> I've actually just been working really hard the last two years on our, uh, you know, subunit for the team vaccine so that uh, I can get a shout out on Hard Factor. Mm. That's <laughs> really nice. the only reason. So, uh, yeah. Have See a you, great buddy. fucking weekend, boys. Made it happen. Hell nice. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Enjoy hey, Toledo. Also, I forgot to mention the group that I'm going to this bachelor party with is for my brother's wedding. Nice. They're all my cousins, brothers, uncles, all very hard drinking Irish Catholic guys. Oh, yeah. If we saw one of those nights go K5 out in the street, mm-hmm. we would beat the fuck out of it. It would absolutely <laughs> dismantle it. It's you got to be rowdy, quick, bud. But yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Dude, Irish cat. There we go. Rip it up. Real quick, uh, Google, uh, who bites harder, Pitbull? I couldn't even type in I, and it was or Rottweiler. Google says, while the Rottweiler is actually the most powerful and its pressure bite tops at 328 pounds, Ooh. German Shepherds has the second place at Ooh. 238 bites per force. And finally, the American Pitbull took third place with 100 pounds and 103 pounds Nailed less. it. Nailed it with rather good bit by yeah. Pitbull. Nailed Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Not me. Rottweiler is way more dangerous. It's way more go. No, it, it, what do you mean it's going to let go? What, what, what fantasy world are you living in where the Rottweiler is like, <laughs> I, I'm going to let go? You, you've added a stipulation that the Rottweiler no, is going to let go? They're more likely to. It has a much stronger bite. A pit bull's jaw is just a front? <laughs> it's just a front with the big ass jaw? The German shepherds are stronger than pit bulls, bro. Get the I fuck out man. of here. You've got to reevaluate this yeah. whole thing. No, no, no. you got to look, 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 look at how many they kill versus the other ones. <laughs> then, we'll, then we'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm glad that I'm glad that, I'm glad that that USPS uh, worker was able to at least start the conversation uh, to to open Wes's mind. And that's it for the content this week. Thanks for listening. Which brings Mark, us to the says, almighty. It says the German wheel. pitbull is point is three below a German shepherd in this one. One hundred and three. One hundred and three no, pounds. This, I'm looking at two hundred thirty five psi. Yes, to three hundred twenty eight for the three hundred twenty eight. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at two thirty eight. German for shepherds two thirty eight, bro. Yeah, German shepherds three pounds bigger. The Rottweiler is one hundred and three pounds stronger. It's it's okay. like fifty percent stronger. It's, it it sounds like it's okay. the strongest it's, by far. It's not even close. Okay. Yeah, German shepherd is barely stronger, but it's stronger than the pitbull. The yeah. Rottweiler is significantly stronger. Than okay. the pitbull. It's That's got a big jaw on it. All right. <laughs> Wheel time. Oh. Wes, uh, first yeah, spin for who's got the high five next week. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. People say this was something Gavin says he likes. Ooh, Will's back on oh, the high five. Back to me. There you All go. Right, Gavin. You did Send a good job, praises. Will. You did a good Send job. Send me more praises. I won't, I won't, uh, I'll, I'll keep them in this time. I'll, I'll cut the rest and I'll keep Boom. all the praises to us. Thank you. Um. All right. No, you keep me in, Wes. I know I am. I mean, there's there's a video online of the of someone getting bit by the three of them. By all three of them? Yeah. Like testing, <laughs> testing this. Yeah. yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, oh, shit. Real, I'm getting yeah. everything. Will's right. coffee. Will's coffee. coffee. Yeah. Got, but leave him yeah, in there. I see if he gets it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off the wheel. It can't pick me now. No. Nope. Who's Pat's TikTok? TikTok. Pat. Pat's TikTok. Hey, girl. Wes right. and I are going to look for Rottweiler and Pitbull stories. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael I'm Lombard. Three, uh, I'm seeing 328 PSI here. Yes, Pat, 328 for the Rottweiler, which is 103 more. That's a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm only seeing 235 on this site for the yes, Pitbull. Yes, that's yeah. what we just said. Woo, man. Do the math. Mm. 328 minus 235, that's 100, 100 some, it's almost, it's 100. It's 100. Mm-hmm. Okay, there might be a stronger bite, but they don't kill as many people. But yeah, but how, many Rottweiler, how many Rottweilers are there? It, proportionally, I think they kill the same. No, Rottweilers kill like more deadly, way more deadly. less. I know, but there's Look, way guys, less Rottweilers. How do you dogs know don't kill people. I, I, owners Google do. <laughs> Did you Google just it? Like, yes, I have. Just like you Googled how many <laughs> animals are killed or people are killed by the... Yeah. All right. Well, this debate will continue next week. Uh, thank you to everybody in the Hardo Hive for They're being so fucking yes, awesome. Yeah. They are. They're very. They're so dangerous. Thank you for being so awesome. Listen to the podcast. We love you all. Can't wait to talk to you again next week. But most importantly, have a great fucking day and weekend.